guys welcome to our first sonic r show this is so awesome it's good to be back on uh the sonic r show after being gone so long uh with us uh i got uh ladise aka angelidia uh i Hi. got dust in the wind i got Hello, eagles cry i got hey. kevin and i got Hello. lucas and i of course, in the one and only Sonic Remix. <laughs> we not the not beat. Worthy. We are not worthy. <laughs> All praise. All praise. I know, I know. I, I, I have a, I have an ego when I'm on my own program. So <laughs> if, if I'm anywhere else, I'm, I'm like, you know, just social anxiety, shy, that anything else. But when it comes to my own territory, I'm like the, the queen. So. Um, so, um, it's Sonic R is it's bit, we started as a as a radio show like many 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 years ago. A, anyone want to guess when Sonic R first started? Uh, 1997 when the game came out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm Love gonna it. guess. I think it was 98 or 99 if I if I can remember right. Yeah, Kevin, it was uh it was December 5th, 1998. So wow. So. We're we're man. we're an old show. Yes, man. We're yes. It's an old show that just got revamped, remade, rebooted. Uh, probably and rebooted. All of the above. Yes, all of the above. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, we we've gone through different iterations. It started out as a, like a little uh, podcast, like back in the day. I used to uh, I used to rip off the audio from uh, the Saturday M shows and just kind of air them, and. Um, then I did like a uh, what I call the Sonic R countdown, where we did like the top five most voted Sonic music of the time. So, uh, and uh, at the time, uh, Sonic Adventure just came out in Japan, so the music was all over the internet. So uh, that was like one of the number one uh, songs at the time was uh, "Open Your Heart." Crush 40, man. Yes. Mm. Crush 40 is... I, you know, I would love to be able to see Crush 40 at a Revo Sunday, but I think we have to actually afford them first. So. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Get we'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll get there. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're, we're back in the video form after we, we, did, a, we did a stint, like, back uh, between 2012 to uh, 2015, 16, somewhere along there. Uh, we had a full on, uh, radio stream and program then, and then, um, things just, uh, things just, uh, closed up, so to speak. Uh, I, I probably won't go into too much detail about it. If you know the story behind it, you know the story behind it. I'm just not gonna go into it otherwise. Uh, <laughs> but now we're back. And we're making this not about radio, but about revolution. I want this to be Sonic Revolution's official stream. Uh, we will talk about any Sonic Revolution plans that come up. We don't have any news. If anybody's looking for Sonic Revolution news, we don't have it right now. Other than, you know, we're just keeping an eyeball what's going on in California with the pandemic. And that's still too far out to tell what's going on here. Uh, hopefully. What do you mean the next convention isn't happening next month? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot what 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 what, hap what happening with the convention next month. I thought we have a plan. <laughs> what what next month? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what's uh, I I know there was um I know uh we were also talking about uh bringing back the online convention for next year. Uh, we're gonna do that in October of twenty two. So, um, so we will, we will, we will bring back the, uh, the online convention for those who can't make it to the physical Revo. convention. So that way we yes. have a, both a physical convention and an online one for those, uh, who just can't make the physical one or just don't feel comfortable. Here, and the musical here is Pumpkin Hill from Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew where you were going. Please. <laughs> so... Other than that, uh, we're going to talk about Sonic news. Other than, you know, if we don't have any Revolution news, we'll talk about Sonic news. And holy crap, we got a bunch of Sonic news to talk about. And oh. uh, I actually... It's been... A lot's happened in the past, what, month now. Yeah, I know. 
And, and uh, Sakura's Ultimate coming out today. If that, mm -hmm. that is, if you got the digital deluxe version. Yep. Um, mm. I'm actually going to start out this new section with a really, really bad joke. So just follow along with me here and just uh, uh, amuse me or whatever. Uh, so uh, knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Idris Elba. Idris Elba, who? Idris oh, Elba wow. is Knuckles in Sonic 2, guys! <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard about that. that got a lot of attention. Oh, <laughs> man. For those who locked him in Zootopia and Jungle Book, the live action remake, now you can see him in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those picks where you don't realize how perfect it is until you, like, actually look at what he's done. It's like... Why didn't we think of this in the first place? Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> so it's like this was what revealed almost about a month ago, right? Yes. Uh, round yeah, August, give or take, yeah. Yep. But it it was like it, it was one of those things that I never thought about, but when it was actually brought up, I was like, yeah, I I can see that. I I, I can. Um. Uh, and, and you know, I I remember Aegis over from a lot. You know, a lot of other stuff. We you know we talk about uh. Zootopia, he was uh, Chief Bogo. Uh, he was right. also Heimdall. So he was Heimdall do. from um, uh, Thor. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And he was also the bad guy from uh, Star Trek in Into Darkness. Not Into Darkness. Uh, fudge, that, that third reboot Star Trek movie. I know what you're talking about. Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness was the one with Khan, I believe. Right, that was the second yeah. one. But this yeah, this one is talking about one. the third one. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, Twitch chat, let, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Yes. Over here talking Please. About. I, know we were talking about. <laughs> I, I, I call myself a Trekkie, and yet I can't even remember what the third... The third one just didn't leave too much of an impact. That's probably why I can't remember the third the title of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, uh, Idris Elba, that's... Like I said, that's going to be interesting to see. And it, it was, like, really interesting... Um, that uh yeah he tweeted out that's how he let everybody know he just kind of tweeted out this uh cryptic uh tweet here uh where he was like knock knock he must have had gotten that approved because there's oh, no way down. that <laughs> yeah oh yeah for sure and especially the, you know when of course that uh that artwork there that's definitely you know that looks like official artwork so you know he had to get that from somewhere they probably approved that. Yeah, <laughs> of course they did. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same people that, that made the Sonic model, and hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be as good as the Sonic model from the final version of the movie, <laughs> and not as bad as the Sonic model from the first trailer. Right. <laughs> well, especially <laughs> since we got it's the old dad. Like what? Uh, the the production team that worked on like the animation side weren't they like out of the job or something? Um, yeah. Unrelated yeah. to the Sonic movie. Yeah. Yeah, so after they, I'm yeah, hoping after they, that's like the same people because they put a lot of work into the last movie. Well, yeah, I think no. after the um, after after they worked on the first movie, they they ultimately lost their jobs, which is sad for them because apparently the film did so well, they're probably gonna beg them to come back and do their jobs again. They're probably key personnel that they're gonna bring back to the set, so that way, you know, they know what they have to do, what they're looking at, and how to execute the plan properly. Right. Yeah. I'd imagine it'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, I at least we know, you know, Tyson has this, you know, working on it. So. <laughs> it's in good hands. It's hope. in good hands. Mm -hmm. But yeah. with the voice actor pick, though, I know that a lot of people will talk about, like, oh, uh, do we really need more star power in our animated movies? Well, we already had, uh, you know, the casting for Sonic last movie, so I don't think it's really much of a surprise to have someone yeah. like you know, just Elba to be cast as Knuckles. Yep. And, and uh, it's not a bad pick either, because you can even, uh, if you recall, like, any performance he's done, I had actually researched into it, he can p do a really pretty good American accent already, so. Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. Fine yeah, they, yeah. Nathan points Utopia. <laughs> yeah, um, right. And I know people do not want to hear this, but it's also really possible that the voice of Tails may be recast with more star power as well. Now that he's more of a prominent figure instead of a last-minute cameo. Also, mm. also, let's hope and pray it's not Tom Holland. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Twitter's oh, dream cast. I mean, I, I, I love, it out there. <laughs> I mean, I, I love Tom Holland, but yeah. I don't Get, think anything. Please keep fire, man, out of my sock movie. <laughs> no, I, I'd be really sad if they don't recast. <sighs> it would. I I don't know because it's like she did a really good job with you know the the small performance she had at the yeah. end of the last film. Oh, she did. And I think it would just be mm -hmm. better to keep her on hey, for consistency sakes. Hey, no no one's arguing about that, but you know these Hollywood types, it's like, you know, if it was one thing when it was just like a one-liner uh, situation, you know, why drag a big star to do a one-liner when you just get someone like, you know, Colleen to come in and do her line? Uh, but if you're talking about a movie where the role is much much more prominent they probably want somebody with a little star power behind it just so they can put more butts in the seats or something and the yeah, I, this... I don't think we've heard from calling one way or the other as far as i know i all i can say it's is dicey one... because like they it they, you can't really talk about your projects because then they're in risk of breaking their nda people yeah. asking questions yeah about absolutely. That is really mm -hmm. cool. yeah I feel like the the one reason why they want to recast the tales one word, money, ticket sales. Mm -hmm. They yeah. they want they want to pull a big box office, and that's what Hollywood does nowadays. They they get these big stars that come in and voice these roles. They just want they just want people to see the movie. Higher ticket well, yeah, prices. They they want to have it to where they can have a trailer and say that uh, Zendaya is voicing the one of the characters. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Be careful so, of opening the Pandora's box there, my friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just... So, I'm all, just... Go ahead. If, if Amy Rose is in that movie, I'm hoping it's not Zendaya who's voiced... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, oh, she did no. voice Lola in Space Jam 2. Let's just hope she doesn't voice Amy Rose. You put it out in the universe now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> it's, all it now, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> if anybody, as long as she doesn't sound like Minnie Mouse. Oh God, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's another good point. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm just putting that out there now. Don't be surprised if uh, Tails gets recast for the second movie. So y'all heard it from me. So. <laughs> Uh, and actually, on that, who would be a good idea if they did recast it? Who do you think it would be? Amy who Jones. Do you, think you know that is a great question. Who would make like, a good who tales? Would, who would make a good tale? My yes. answer. Mm. Cross my finger. What? Well, let's hope it's Emily Jones. We can dream. We can dream. We can dream. Though, because I don't. I don't think anyone like uh, could have predicted who was going to voice Sonic or who was going to voice you know Knuckles. So just picking from like a wide, gigantic pool of Hollywood uh, actors is really difficult. I feel like what they're gonna do is like they're, they're gonna put like every Hollywood star in a dartboard, just throw a dart on it. Just throw a dart <laughs> it's gonna at come it out of left field. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's the one. Okay, get him on the phone. I mean, I gotta be honest. I always thought it was it was kind of left field for them picking Jim Carrey being Robotnik. And oh, Jim Carrey is so funny. Yeah, he is. I, mean, I understand. He would have saved the movie. <laughs> it was yeah. out of left field, but I'm so glad they did. <laughs> well, he was like, you know, um, like interviews and stuff. He was really passionate about the film too. Like, oh, yeah. even at, I think he was ridiculed yeah. at the Oscars. I think about it, and he's like, "Ridicule me all you want. It's gonna be great." No, I think it was the and Emmy. He, he was right. well, I don't think it was the Oscars. I think it was the Emmy Awards. It was one of those awards. Oh, shows. Golden Globes. Golden Globes. I, Gold. I didn't. I didn't even hear about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the one where um, where Jim Carrey was in the audience and he was promoting um, his movie Sonic the Hedgehog, and then was escorted by security out like, out of the building. What? I mean, that's what I that's what I remember. I could be wrong. That's but that's what I think. That's what I think, anyways. But I'm glad Jim Carrey did the, the role of Robotnik justice. Yeah, oh, he, did it. He, he did it very well. Oh yeah, I. Of course, I took my mom. I took my mom to, to see the movie just simply, you know, because it's like uh, she she saw an interview with Jim Carrey and she's like she had to go see the movie now. Uh, but she she honestly does not like Jim Carrey that much. She doesn't like her his brand of humor. So, I mean, I like Jim Carrey like everything. Um, I'm a huge yeah. fan of Jim Carrey. Just <laughs> yeah, Jim Carrey. 
Jim Carrey has always been my comedic idol, and yeah, um, every com comic thing I do or anything I do, I always love Jim Carrey's work. Yeah. Um, from his early work from Ace Ventura all the way to Sonic the Hedgehog, I hope he comes back for, for the second movie because that would be amazing. Oh, we will. Absolutely. Oh, you will. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that, that's yeah. That's More good. <laughs> Okay, I, I think we can move on to our next topic now, uh, which is, uh, oh yes, uh, GE is uh, releasing some new Sonic merchandise. Uh, if if y'all seen uh, some of the uh, the pictures of the plushies that were advertised, uh, you got like uh, Netflix. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but the yeah, one I was not expecting the plus of, of meth at all. So no, no, no. Lower. My the biggest surprise Netflix. I had, the biggest surprise I had, whisper. The fact oh that they God. got they're going to yeah. have a whisper plush. I want the whisper plush. I, so and much. I'm like, so happy to see whisper getting a lot more love. <laughs> and all I can, and all I can say is finally we can make all these characters affordable plushies. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, Gemroll, uh, Gemroll, I don't know. Uh, and the dark child plushie I see on here is just like, oh, there's so many. I want them all. They're I just mean, so... I have a dark, I have a dark child plushie right here in the oh, background. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I haven't been keeping up with the plushies as much lately. I've just been so busy. It's just like, what? You know, um, yeah, no, me neither. The only reason, like, why I was starting to hear about it was because Mephilus was trending on Twitter, and it was exactly. because of the plushes. Uh, <laughs> so that, that it's a very high demand. So that I one. wish I the one plus I'd love to have in my home is Mephilus. Oh yeah, it's just as a flower. Like I saw that yes. trending on Twitter, and my smile yeah. couldn't get any bigger. I'm like, finally, people <laughs> showing love for Mephilus, man. I feel like it, I feel like at that point your grin will be as as wide and big as the Grinch, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a great More movie. Or less. More or less. Yeah. It's, it seems like some of the, some of the uh, characters from the past are suddenly suddenly getting more attention nowadays, especially with Sonic 06. It seems it's just like uh, Sonic 06 maybe getting that second glance at a little bit. Maybe because like yeah, yeah. I feel like if Sonic 06 were to ever be remade, they need to fix everything. Yeah, they need to remake this. They need to remake yeah, the story. Like they need really to fix it. They need to fix the gameplay. Everything needs to be fixed. <laughs> everything needs to be fixed. Yes. I mean, I think like the, the, the everything <laughs> and make a game from scratch and just name it Sonic the Hedgehog 06 Revised. There was a good point I there mean, that a lot of people are starting to take a glance at 06. It's almost like, like it wasn't as like, bad as people like thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a uh, now I, from I, like, no, I, oh, I thought this game was bad. To you know. Uh, it just has a lot of m missed potential, yeah, and we were rushed, and yeah. all these things, and uh, Bug it was buggy as crap. I mean, at one point, I just gave up because I I almost tossed my remote at a screen, and I almost never do that. It was it was oh, that yeah. bad. Uh, wow. the, now the story, oh, <laughs> now the storyline itself. I didn't mind the storyline for the most part. The only thing I hated was the very end when they did that whole time reset thing. Oh wait, uh, spoilers. Uh, spoiler, 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 spoiler. Of course, it's only been what uh, 10, it's like 2006. If, if you don't know about Sonic yeah. 06, that's kind of on if you, you at this know, point, unless you're like a newer you'll fan. Know. Just, watch, mm -hmm. just watch gameplay footage on YouTube. Yeah, they don't know what the ending is. <laughs> so, anyway, I did not like the very, very end of it. Um, I, I don't like the whole time reset thing because it just means they never learned their lesson about anything ever. Yeah, uh, uh keep in mind, Sonic. The reason why Sonic 06 is can now because Sonic Generations. Somewhat. It, it's a debate. It, yeah. That's a debate. Yeah, but it's a good one. Next time, on okay. so next time on the Sonic R Star, the huge debate on um, if Sonic 06 was ever can. <laughs> <laughs> curb, your, curb your expectations. And, uh, curb your expectations. <laughs> under, under the news topics, you can have that underneath an opinion piece. Uh, now, I can qualify. Yeah, that, that's a little, that's a little uh, manageable, yeah. Now, I'm going to say something a little uh, controversial, or maybe it's uh, contrarian, but as much as everyone makes fun of it, and as much as everyone kind of hates it, I didn't mind the whole at least Sonic Kiss thing during the climax. I really didn't. I just thought that was, you know, just... 
You're right, that really is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> it is an unpopular opinion, but that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I'm just going to quote the one Sonic sort. What's weirder, kissing a corpse or kissing an animal? I mean, first of all, Jessica Rabbit. Well, that's true. Fair point. Fair, fair point, <laughs> exactly. That's a fair point. Second, Snow White. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Like, I'm not on the level of, oh, this is one of the worst things in Vazra. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's still pretty iffy, but it's oh, not yeah. gone it, 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 awful. No, I have, no. To, I have to latch onto that because I think that the a lot of, like, the, oh, it's so bad is more of them latching onto something, a part of the game, and the just hype train. exploding it and making it this big thing just to be like, oh, six is bad. It's I on the like hate it. train that just keeps going. That's basically speaking what it of, is. Speaking of train, Sonic, so they didn't be taking the train before chasing after <laughs> me. Because there's a train level in Sonic 06. Yeah, there is that train level. You are right. Also, I feel like um, when Elise was kissing Sonic, it felt like, in a way, it was playing through all the Disney fairy tale cliches. True love's first kiss, they wake up. Arise hey, from the yeah. dead. <laughs> Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. Those are the only two I can think of. Yeah. Um... Let's make it a hybrid. <laughs> I, I guess uh, I guess Sega's not used to working with uh, princesses in a Sonic uh, franchise. I feel like it, you know, I feel like it'd be funny uh, if, if they did like the Princess and the Frog, in which at least gets into Sonic and at least turns into a hedgehog. I would I would be <laughs> that in that would be boat hilarious. There. Yeah, that would be I hilarious. Would be in that boat there, but then you have to remember. Oh wait, Sally happened. Oh, like, oh wait, oh wait. Oh, oh. Well, Sally yeah, happened, I... but. Uh, the official Sega Japan wants nothing to do with Sally, apparently. Right, oh. or like really any of like mm. the Western branch of characters. And we even though, even though Blaze, even though, <laughs> even though Blaze is a princess, she's more of a, it seems like she was tagged on as a princess as an afterthought rather than her official title. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, keep in mind, Blaze started off in Sonic Rush, and then she was in Sonic Sex afterwards. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, but getting back on track here with the plushies, it's like, yeah, the right. whisper, the whisper plush, whisper plush is what I want the most. Uh, I do know that Sega Muse uh, Hitting Palace Games is taking pre-orders for these plushies right now. So if you want to, you're looking to get a hold of these plushies, you can go uh, look at her website at Hidden Palace Games. Uh, I I will I will say that she's she's. Um, uh, she's priced some of them uh, at like forty five dollars. Yeah, they're a little pricey, but you know she's the only one I know right now that's doing pre orders on that stuff. So if you're looking, if you're looking to get a hold of that stuff, go go look at Sega Muse uh, Hidden Palace Games. Uh, she'll she'll get you hooked up. So plus you're supporting small businesses. So yes, yeah, that is yeah. true. Very that is point. true. It's a very very good point. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, on to our next topic. Oh yes, the Sonic Channel uh, September wallpaper has been released, and as you can see, it's our uh, background for our program. We're going to use that all throughout Aww. September. It's so cute. Just... It is a very cute wallpaper. Indeed. Yes. I just, I just love what uh, Sonic Channel's been doing with each month, with just pairing Sonic with a different. Uh, different character and actually writing a uh, uh, piece of uh, literature on the Japanese website to go with it. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I was amused when they did July, which was uh, Sonic X Shadow. And, oh you know, I had to giggle <laughs> to myself a little bit. <laughs> I feel like Sonic Channel should have yes. their own... I feel like Sonic Channel should have their own pictures and, like, calendars. <laughs> Like, Sonic Channel should have their own calendar for, like, release each year. They, and then... Yeah. That, yeah. That's Absolutely. I'd like, make a great piece of merchandise. Yeah, oh, it yeah. would. Yeah, it would be. But I think they're just releasing this month by month, so it's just like, you know, you don't get the whole thing all at once. Aw. Yeah. Unless you pre-order her. Besides, it, it they spoil things because, as you can see, the September wallpaper came out just to coincide with the uh, Sonic, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Ultimate release. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Which, by the way, if you ever bought the digital deluxe version, what are your thoughts on Sonic Colors Ultimate? Is it better <laughs> than the original? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get my hands on my copy if I really can't. <laughs> I purchased the. I pre ordered the digital deluxe version and. I I was originally gonna get the um the physical version of it for the Xbox One and get digitally for the Switch, but it turns out that I want to get the digital deluxe version. So I so what I did was I canceled my physical co my physical order of Song Colors Ultimate for the Xbox One and went ahead and ordered the digital deluxe version. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so funny I you start. <laughs> it's funny you start mentioning that, and that gives us a perfect segue to go into our next article, which is yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate Digital has been released today. So it's like for people who ordered Digital Deluxe, uh, hooray for you, get to play it. For the rest of us, uh, we got to wait till yeah, we have to wait till next week. Yeah, until next, <laughs> next Tuesday. I already got a call from We're GameStop. Yeah, I, got, I already got a call One from week. GameStop. One week. I, I, I already pre-ordered the, the, the game. Can't remember if it's the Switch or the PS4, but I did pre-order... Uh, the one from um, the Japanese website that includes everything, the book, the coin, and even a keychain from yeah. their own website. Good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah the baby's got a keychain. And it's, now it's shipping it internationally for those I feel that like want why that could, ship. If the Japanese yeah. have better pre-order bonuses, why can't we have the same thing for us Americans? Right? Yeah. Oh, we're wondering. Oh man, but That's yeah, I already got a call from GameStop. They said that I it, they already got the shipment in, apparently, and they said you can, you can come pick it up on the seventh. Okay, I, I think I might pre-order the physical copy for the Switch. Yeah, because I Nintendo. Yeah, I actually got uh, two different versions. I ordered two different physical versions. I ordered the Switch so I can take it with me while I'm working. Because there, I I'm a delivery driver, and there are times I'm just sitting there in a parking lot waiting for deliveries, and I'm bored. So, just pull out. I actually did that a couple weeks ago with uh, Sonic and Tokyo Olympics. So, uh, oh nice. Uh, nice. Back when the actual Olympics mm. were going on, I decided, yeah. you know what? I don't watch sports. I don't watch the Olympics, but I will play the Sonic Tokyo Olympics. So. Oh, that's the one with the. With, that's the one with the Sonic mascot as a playable character, right? Oh no, I was actually playing the one with Mario. So. The, the oh, actual Mario, Mario Sonic, Sonic. Sonic. Okay. yeah, the actual one, yeah. I really want to play the Tokyo Olympics game, the one where you play as the Sonic mascot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. I saw that footage. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? It's a good friend of mine live streamed it. It is one of the funniest things you will ever see in your life. It is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> and I have, and just so you know, I have one at home. They were playing the soccer event, and you could actually like put every single teammate in one of those, and just a whole team of Sonics coming at you. <laughs> if I'm on the other side, I'm kissing my rear goodbye. <laughs> it's Team Sonic. It literally. Everyone is Sonic in this game. <laughs> it was one of the greatest things ever. Oh my, oh my god. god. <sighs> but it's like while you're like uh while your game store is holding your uh your copy hostage for until the seventh, uh a lot of reviewers have been able to get their hands on it and review the game. And I've heard the reviews actually been pretty good so far. Pretty favorable, yeah. Pretty yeah, favorable. only I mean... Sonic colors. Uh <laughs> I mean, I can't remember. Wasn't it very favored, like, even back when it was first released, like, back in 2010? Yeah, I, I, I was, I it, it so. was favorable at the time. I think a lot of the average scores were a little bit lower, though, at the time, because a smidge. Was that was the stigma. Yeah. 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 yeah, I remember I remember playing the original game on the Wii. Um, although I feel like it hasn't aged very well. But I think once you play it, once you play, once you play the remastered version, you'll think, "Oh, it looks much better than the original version." Yeah. Although I, w yeah, it's actually funny you say that because um, on Twitter there's been like a lot of data miners and everything, and it seems like that they used uh, the open sourced uh, game engine uh, Godot Godot uh, to help with the project, and they are able to find a bunch of like the source files from the original Wii game. Oh wow. 
they oh, literally it's, it's structured their whole yeah. framework around the original. That is amazing. That's very incredible. Very mm -hmm. nice work. Wow. But I think with that too, there's been uh, there's been some glitches and bugs from reviewers so f uh as of recent. Uh, be, nothing like game not otherwise. like a bunch of game breaking stuff, but like you know some visual glitches. Um, like a couple things, a little bit of game breaking, but it's not too bad. But a lot of people are hoping that it can be fixed on like a day one patch or something yeah, yeah. well katie's already katie's already it. said there's gonna be a day one patch okay ah, well, very that's good, good. Very good that's a good sign then that's good <laughs> though they did they did keep in uh the the speed running glitches and uh i think there's even like some tails lines that reference that in the game oh boy oh yeah oh uh i heard somewhere that the red star rings have actually moved from what they were they originally were in the original game oh did they yeah, that's what I was hearing. I I, I think I saw an article on uh, Sonic Stadium about it, but I'm not too certain. I, I just saw a headline. I didn't actually read it. So, I, you I, heard I was... completionist, and you've got a new chore ahead of you, completionist. Yeah, yeah completionist. <laughs> find the yeah. Through all of you watching this right now, find all of the red rings in Sonic Colors Ultimate. Then give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's a lot of Sonic Colors stuff going on. In fact, right now they've actually released the entirety of uh, Sonic Colors: Rise of the Wisp uh, animation. Yes. Oh my gosh, that that's yeah. like mm -hmm. one of the cutest. It's so, it's good. so good. It's so amazing. It really was. It really was. It was just they like did a good job with that. Yes. Uh, they, they released it in two parts, I believe. First, yes, it, yes, they, they were. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It in two parts. Yeah. The an the animation is amazing. You know, Tyson always does a great job with the animation. It's just like right? absolutely. absolutely. Just so you know, he not only did he save the um not only did he save the Sonic movie, he also makes good animations as well. So yeah. Tyson has is a god when it comes to Sonic animation. I was gonna say, yes. given his uh, track record, it's to be expected. <laughs> And then you have to like also thank like everyone else that contributed not only in the Sonic movie but also just to uh, this entire animation as well. It takes an entire team, oh, and yeah. the team did a good, really good job. Absolutely, mm -hmm. give this guy a freaking Oscar. <laughs> it, it's been such an honor to be able to know Tyson in person. Like before he he, he rose in the ranks, it's just like he was uh, he came to uh, Revolution. I think it's in sixteen. What do you say? I think he first started in sixteen. Let's see, two thousand. I know he was here in 18. Yeah, 2016. I know he came in 2018 too, in person. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's really uh, funny because, like, I I think I I went to uh Sega Fan Jam like the the most like the last one. And yeah, I, the one. I was like, oh, the Tyson's around. here. I'm like, I was a new fan, so I'm like, who's who's Tyson? Why is everyone freaking out? <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I re yeah. Oh gosh, I remember Fan Jam. I do. Oh man, it, it's like when Tyson first came, you know, it was just like, you know, he, he was like, what, like everybody else, you know, he had his table and, you know, people were going up to him like nothing. But it was, wasn't until like a year or two later when he was, he only had a limited time to spend because he was working on the, uh, the first uh, Sonic animation series at the time, the, uh, the Sonic Mania Adventures. Right. Uh, that, that was it. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, he only had a couple hours to spend, uh, so he, he dropped by, and oh my god, the, the line that just suddenly formed up at his table, and just, like, all throughout the, the convention area, just a big long line, it was just... You know, anytime I see a, a long line at anything, I just quote from Christmas Story, it's like, the line ends here, it begins... <laughs> Way over there. Right over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was in 18 when his, when he was at uh, Sonic Revolution. That that hit that line was long. Oh, yes, oh I have no doubt of that. Yeah, I th mm -hmm. yeah, probably because at that point I think Sonic Mania, I think hit during around that time. But I feel like if you if you were to see times and has now, the line would be even longer because he worked on the Sonic movie. And all and all the song animations he's done since then, pretty much. Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we would have really mm -hmm. we would have had him at the convention for like an hour or two, uh, back in twenty twenty, uh, if the pandemic had not uh, screwed everything up. Right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But we did have him uh this year for the online one and that, we did. that, was, that was a little mm -hmm. treat for sure. I was I was yes. so happy we were able yeah. to get him. 
I was I was so happy we were to get mm-hmm. him on for Rabbit. Discord, so. everyone. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the highlight of Rod Rev this year. I, Mike I, Pollock, <laughs> in during his meet and greet, Mike Discord Pollock, everyone. like we had like technical difficulties going on, and then Mike Pollock would on and off say, Discord, everyone. <laughs> that was the biggest highlight, the meme of Sonic Revolution. It's, 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 it's because it's And I was true. there. I um I was there too. So I uh yeah, and I I missed it because I I forgot what I was doing at the time, but I missed it. I was do I was doing another bar of the stream, so I wasn't mm, able yeah. to be in there at the time. But uh, yeah. uh I think Sega Muse said something. She's gonna make buttons for next year with oh nice. The- Oh, okay, that's what I gotta say. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. That's gonna be awesome. Man, I would, love, I want to see that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, but yeah, rise the wisp. Very. Uh, I mean, did did y'all know? Did y'all know Katie actually voiced the uh, the Jade Wisp? Really? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that actually. That's really cool. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I I thought that was really awesome. That was Katie that was voicing Jade Wisp. She she said she had a lot of nice. fun doing that. Very nice. Now that's just in the animation. It's not she's not in the video game, so don't try looking for mm. listening for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Although they did did actually like uh for anyone like unaware, they did like bring her back for the role though, you know, for I'm assuming consistency sakes. Mm-hmm. Right. Hmm. No, she's she's just uh, in Rise of the Wisp, so. Um, I'm actually yeah. glad that I was hoping that nowadays her, her, Tails is um Wisp translator actually works and doesn't have any bugs. Because the the one one of the one of the only memories I have in Sonic Colors is believe it or not, Baldy McNose hair. Oh yeah. I think a lot of people remember that. Everybody and, remember that one. And let's not forget the one, the one line we all know, know and love. No copyright law in the universe is, is yeah. going to stop me. <laughs> I, I, um, I think even Sega uses that line from time to time. I, I think the official Twitter uses that line from time to time. Oh, like, they do. They do. <laughs> no copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. I'm going to block on YouTube. I'm like, oh. Sega, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> like, I'm Sega. I can do what I want when I want. I am Sega! <laughs> I do what I want when I want. <laughs> wow. Of course, if I stop mashing buttons here so we can move on to the next news story, uh, they also right. released a prelude comic uh, for oh. uh, Sonic Colors, uh, showing pretty much uh, Robotnik coming into. Uh, you know, go kidnap the wisp and all that showing up on the planet. Uh, it's very cute, and you can see it on the official Twitter uh, page. Um, I do know uh, Katie said that there is going to be a second part posted uh, at some point. I forget when, but part one, the first three pages, part one is there. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of Sonic, Sonic Colors promo. A lot of oh, Sonic yeah. Colors promo. That's true. That was amazing. Uh, but speaking of comics, um, Sonic 43 is now out. Uh, I have not had a chance to read it yet, and I will explain why I haven't picked it up yet in, in a couple of news stories from now. But needless to say, that 43 is out. And have you seen this cover here of Sonic on Zavok's head? <laughs> Oh my uh, god. Where's the deadly six when you all I can say is where's the deadly six when you need him? <laughs> the only deadly six member that survive is Savic. Where where where's the love for the other deadly six members? They only been in one game and that's it. <laughs> they have to have the one that looks closest to a Pokemon representing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I didn't know wait, Zavid wait, Zavid looks look like a Pokemon? Looks like a demented incineroar to me. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, <laughs> look at that. It's like put a comparison is... somewhere. It's like look yes, at that. And then look final, at this. It's like our final, our final fire for smash, ladies and gentlemen, Zavek. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, I'm not kidding. Don't I'm give kidding. him any idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's not. A... No, no. I'm, I'm not gonna finish that. I'm not gonna finish that. Oh man. 
Uh, but I really, what I really love about this cover is just the look on Zavok's face with uh, Sonic on top of his head like that. It's just like he Why just... is Sonic on top of my head? <laughs> he he looks like he's about to pop a bane. Oh my god! Like, oh, like really oh no! No! He just got that look of oh, do I really have to deal with this again? <laughs> <laughs> I've dealt with him for two games already. I don't want it to be a third. That is hands down one of my favorite covers so far. So far. Why has he why hasn't he done that about their Eggman yet? <laughs> Maybe one day. One day. One day, but not today. I can just see the fan artist scribbling their Oh no! Keep it on track like a Long Island train. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's been in New York. So yeah. Um, if I can pull up the uh the Oh my gosh, the, you know uh Google just picked the wrong time for them to sign me out on stuff. Oh Why no. Why would you do this? Oh like... dear. Alright, well, no! the, the, the next topic is the IDW Publishing Tonic Number 44 preview cover. Well, yeah, I was going to talk about the synopsis for 43. That's what I was trying to get to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so uh, the synopsis for Sonic Number 43. Uh, basically reads this, this uh, Sonic the Hedgehog versus the Deadly Six Zeddy. Who will win the battle? Find out in the action pack Zeddy Hunt Part 3. It's all hands on deck as Sonic and friends struggle to defend the newly rebuilt Restoration HQ from the Deadly Six. Which begs the question, when are they ever going to remake Sonic Lost World? Oh, oh. Um... I'm going to, I'm going to put this out right now. Lost World was probably one of my one of my not so favorite games. It's like I I tried playing on it. I could not get past the first uh after level 2 or yeah. whatnot. And it's just like I gave up yeah, it was I, frustrating. I was never big on it either. I got yeah, through I, it, but something felt bad. I couldn't finish the game on huh? on the Wii. Like on the Wii U, but Wii U, um actually. Wii U, yeah. Um sorry. Wait, did they do that for uh for the 3DS as well? I forgot. I did. Um, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I was able to finish the, the one from for the 3DS, but not the Wii U. Yeah, Sonic Lost That's World the only was... game I never could never complete it. Sonic Lost World was probably the only Sonic game I can remember that actually bored me. Like, I remember getting the game, like, for Christmas, I believe. I played it, and I thought it was just boring. It was just absolutely boring. It probably didn't like, help that it felt a little bit like a Mario game first off. Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it, mm. did. Yeah, it yeah. was trying to be it was, it was trying to be their answer to Mario Galaxy, but Mario Galaxy did it right. I mean, mm -hmm. keep in mind, like, the only time Sonic ever tried to do a Galaxy game, it, it was before Galaxy. <sighs> Mad Space from Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, Yeah. The game that pre-lose Mario oh, Galaxy yeah. by three years. Yeah. No, yeah, not many people like Mad Space. <laughs> I don't like Mad Space. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> so, yeah, Lost World Bring was definitely, there. definitely my least favorite. I mean, I, I think I liked it. I can't remember if I put it ranked above or below Sonic 06. I, I want to say I put it below Sonic 06 because Sonic 06 at least has a compelling story to it. Yeah, true. I'm, so I'm not sure if I would put it but, at the very bottom rung of the ladder. But. No, I, no I, I, feel like, I feel like the bottom ranked Sonic games would probably uh, be, oh gosh, um, Sonic Labyrinth? Right, I yeah, I was thinking the same <laughs> thing. I was yeah. like a labyrinth and Rise of Lyric. I know, uh, I know, oh, yeah. Rise of Lyric, and, and probably for good reason. <laughs> felt, I felt unclean playing it. It's like, oh god, the glitches, they're even worse than 06. I am unclean. No! I thought we were with Rise of the Lyric. Like, it was legitimately worse. 
The controls oh. were so stiff and so awkward. Just ugh. never again. I mean, the only Sonic Boom games I ever played were the Sonic Boom games for the 3DS. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Same here. They are much mm -hmm. better than the than the yeah, one Sonic Boom game for the for the Wii mm -hmm. U. It's like they they actually gave a lot of thoughts on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, we're probably going to get off topic here, so I'm just probably going to just uh, move on while we, while we while we still can, while I still got an out on this, because we do got to mm -hmm. talk about the uh, the Sonic 44 preview, uh, right. which I got the cover here by Gigi, which who, who's another topic we're going to talk about here in just a moment. But uh, for the moment, we're going to talk about this. That's an awesome cover that Gigi did. Gigi, G G oh, I yeah, yes. it's a wonderful yeah. cover. Course, uh, Gigi does amazing artwork for the song community. At, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Gigi's a good friend of the show, a good friend of uh, Sonic Revolution, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to call her my friend. So, uh, you know, any chance I get a chance to uh, display her art, I will do so. So this is the cover I would prefer showing off when talking about Sonic 44. Uh and the uh, synopsis for um, 44 reads as as shown here from um, Previews World. Um, missing Belle the Tinkerer. Doll-like look. Blue eyes made of wood. Usually wears a green hat and is known for being clumsy. The search for Belle begins. Sonic and the Chaotix search far and wide for their new friend as she fights to escape. Will that be enough, or have the bad guys already won? And where have the Zeddy gone? Find out the conclusion to Zeddy Hunt. So, I guess we're going to end like, this mini storyline. Mm -hmm. I feel like the comics are now coming back from Sonic Lost World. At least, I'm actually glad that the, that, that, that the comics are giving the characters from Sonic Lost World more love than the actual games themselves, basically. I, I remember when I was talking with the IDW gang, we were they were talking about uh, uh, going into uh, to uh, having more of the Zeddy in there. Uh, Ian really wanted to show uh, the the Zeddy in a better storyline than was previously uh, known. Mm -hmm. uh, he right. said he he loved the whole uh, elegant monster trope, which is yeah, what, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true. Yes. Which is definitely uh, Zavok to a T. Yeah, I was gonna say you can see it in Zavok. That is true. So that that's one of the things because he, he said he knows that people want to skip this particular story arc, but he said try to bear with him on this. Because mm -hmm. right, he, he are like, tries uh, to the Zeddy this the leave. Zeddy again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I know mean, not I a lot of people even like the Zeddy, so it's just like yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't like the Zeddy. I mean, don't blame us. Blame Sonic Lost World. Yeah. <laughs> but Ian does good for you, what he has to work yeah. with, so. You do have to appreciate that. Like, <laughs> and, and trust me, there's a lot of stuff Ian has to try to write around with all the restrictions he's got put in place on him. And it's just like, you gotta admire what he's able to do. For the hand he's dealt, he does really good. Way. Yeah. So, speaking of, so yeah, we were talking about Gigi just a moment ago. Um, as as you guys may know, Gigi, you know, she works with IDW, and she she's a good friend of the show, good friend of um, Sonic Revolution. Uh, recently, uh, she she lives in Louisiana, and recently, uh, unfortunately, she she lost everything to recent Hurricane Ida. I, and, and I mean, she said she's lost everything, and it was just like, oh my gosh, uh, she's she's got a she's got a roof over her her head, thankfully, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, she has a GoFundMe uh, started, so, so I I said that we're going to uh, push put that out for her um, to try to help her out. Uh, you know, Gigi is, is one of us, and I only feel I gotta ask people. You know, try if you can if you can donate, please do. Uh, the link is there on the screen. It'd be great. 
Just yeah. be in the help. It has GT. reached seventy six hundred dollars. Uh, well past that seven thousand. Yeah, uh, within a couple goal. days, so it reached mm -hmm. like over the goal. Yeah, yeah if, 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 if any amazing. donations or shares are absolutely appreciated, and I'm sure Gigi very much appreciates all the support that she's been getting. Gigi, we love you. Yes, yeah, Gigi, Gigi, if if you yeah. if you are watching this, we we love you, and we hope that yeah. things get better for you, and we're we're glad to have you as our friend. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This person survived yeah, the hurricane. I'm glad I can that really they... imagine what you're going through. That I'm glad true. that she has enough money now to, like, uh, you know, uh, I think she said on Twitter, uh, most of the money pretty much from the uh, GoFundMe that's, you know, that was uh, hit for the limit was for, like, the hotel payments, food, and other stuff. And right. pretty much everything that's past that at right now is pretty much going towards the rebuilding and the restoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. But, no, yeah, uh... She sent, like, me and, like, uh, my personal friend group, uh, she was able to get photos of inside of her home, and, in, yeah, no, it's, like, the, it's, it's, yeah, a lot of, uh, like, definitely, like, a lot of water damage. Oh, man. For sure. Oh, yeah, mm. I, I can't even begin to imagine what she's going to do at, at the moment. I, I, everything like that. I feel bad. Honestly, I really feel bad for her. I think we, everyone here feels bad for her, honestly. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. just like, especially like with anyone else that like was it, that lost their home during that entire thing as well. It just uh, couldn't even like imagine like living in, you know, this house that you have for such a long time and having to abandon it and then come back and everything's just pretty much wrecked. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Especially what wasn't didn't um Ida happen like on was it was the anniversary of Katrina right? Yeah, a couple of days. I remember Katrina very well. It it was bad. Yeah, Hurricane her, her, her Katrina. We were all very young at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, her was it two thousand five? I think two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, two thousand five. Yeah, yeah, I mm -hmm. remember. Yeah, Hurricane Katrina was bad. Yeah. And, I, and and the worst thing about it is that I have I have family who actually lives in in, in Louisiana, New, New Orleans to be exact, at, at that time, and I I do feel bad for them. It really, like, it had to hurt. And now it, and now with Hurricane Ida, it really is. I mean, Louisiana is not that safe when it comes to hurricanes. It's just not. Yeah, this whole area is. <laughs> yeah, it's like I live in Florida, so we're pretty hurricane prone ourselves, but. We haven't had it nearly as bad as uh, uh, Louisiana in, in like yeah. the last like, yeah, couple it's of years like, or so. Not other people are just as lucky because like I know like again like living in Florida too that we get so many like tornado and hurricane warnings and then when they end up getting close they end up becoming tropical storms mm -hmm. and other states don't have that luxury it just becomes this terrible terrible catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, Texas Gulf Coast. I I was in Harvey. I was there. Yep. I got to see that firsthand. 2000, 2004, oh. I actually went through three, four hurricanes back to back to back to back. Uh, we, we, we had uh, Hurricane Charlie. We had Francis. We had uh, Ivan and Jean. They they all oh. just, yeah. And I actually, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan rolled through twice. Yeah, I was going to say, Ivan was the one that was really just like, Boom, yeah. boom, just hit you double. It's like I even rolled through, circled around, and came right back. It just it it literally did did a one eighty and came back. I think Katrina and Ivan were uh, were the big ones because I used to live in Alabama uh, way, way back when. I, I yeah, I, I grew up in Alabama. I, I live in Tennessee now. But yeah, back in Alabama, I think I don't know if I know I know of Katrina and Ivan, but I don't know if if I'm sure they must have hit Alabama at some point. Because I distinctly, because I, I remember those mm -hmm. hurricanes. Those remember are, that year are, we had Rita. Rita yep. was ours. Oh man. Oh, let me let me tell you about Hurricane Charlie. First of all, it came on Friday the thirteenth, August thirteenth. Oh dear. Two thousand and four. Um, foreboding. Uh, this 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 hurricane was so small and so so quick. That first of all, it for, it went from a category one to a category four within hours. Uh, it came into the Gulf. It came up 
through the state. I live in the very center of the state. Most by the time most hurricanes come through our part of the state, they mostly downgrade to a tropical storm. Not this one because it was so small and so fast. It was still a hurt. It was still a Category Three by the time it came to us, and um, it it came in. It started and then was out all in three hours. There has never been a hurricane that small or that fast. I've never had a hurricane yeah. uh, be in and out in three hours. Right. Well, it's either they're quick like that. Mostly they just sit there. I saw mm. Harvey. The Harvey just sat there as a Category 4. And it didn't lose strength, didn't change. It just sat there. Oh, it's like sitting water, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, so hurricanes suck. That's I Agreed. think that's the that's the point we're trying to make. Hurricanes I did really put suck. A direct that's link a fact in the right chat there. For anybody who wants to go direct link in the chat, it's right there for y'all. Yeah, the link. GGs, yeah, uh, the link is in the Twitch chat. Fun. And if anyone doesn't believe in climate change at this point, I will throw something at your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and, and now like, if you never believe in climate change, now now's a good time to believe in it. <laughs> Between yeah. The Let's see, between the multiple floods, hurricanes, uh, fires, fires. Uh, yeah. anything else? Air quality going to absolute crap. <laughs> well, it's like, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's safe to say that's not natural. Yeah. No, it is not. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doomed. We're, we're doomed as a species. <laughs> we're, we're doomed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, as the species, we are we are forever doomed. <laughs> Doom. Doom. Doom, I say. <laughs> <laughs> the end is nigh. The end is nigh. Exactly, the end is nigh. <laughs> is, there any way, is there any way we can stop this, hur this hurricane from coming toward us? Oh, uh, you know, with the power of friendship, anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Power of no, no, no. The the real way to stop a hurricane is the power of teamwork. Oh, how dare I? <laughs> if you guys, if you, if you guys hit the reference, you guys hit it right. <laughs> You're good though. You're good. I, no, I, my my Sonic fan license. <laughs> no, please don't take it from me. Like I'm going to need your card, please. <laughs> right there in the palm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I I think we better move on to more happy topics before. Change the subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. So with that being said, um. Yeah. Uh, there is another comic, uh, Sonic uh, spinoff miniseries coming out, uh, The Imposter Syndrome. Oh, we, boy. We just got our first Imposter. looks at that. And take take a look at this cover here. That is just, like, no, so wicked. Um, mm. you got these, oh, yeah. Yeah. You got these two new characters. Um, uh, Surge. Was... Oh. It was Surge, and I, I forgot what the other one's name is. It was, um, yeah, it was Serge the Tenric and Kit the Fennec. Okay, that, that. Mm -hmm. Kit, yeah. There's been a lot of talk about the new character, too. Like, a lot of people are excited yeah. about them. I thought they almost, I always thought they looked similar to the, um, the ghost from the, um, the Sonic Unleashed, uh, short film. Um, oh. what was it, the one where, yeah, right? I... Night of the Werehog. Yeah. That's all I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, it's also That's like I think like with any new IDW character, like people get excited, especially with like designs and what's been. Uh, I think what's been revealed about them, in ter like post reveal with like design and process and everything. Like uh, I know one clear example is that everyone's pointed out that man, Surge looks a lot like um, Ashura, which was like a a glitch back in one of the um, classic Sonic games where Sonic could turn gl green and had like this black pattern yeah. on his face. Oh, really? Wow, I heard yeah, the comparison. I really? I heard the comparison more to uh, Scourge. That's actually that's actually like one of the inspirations from Scourge's uh, green palette, actually, if I recall that. So you're you're actually pretty like not off the ball with that one. When is Scourge ever gonna appear in, 
When is Scourge ever going to appear in a Sonic game? Like, um, ever? When, um, when Sega wants to pay uh, Ken Penders the royalties like he requested on Twitter. Oh, that's oh. Sure. oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. If I, why can't the video... If I, why, can't, why can't any of the IEW comics be turned into video games? That would be amazing. Well, but we'll, we'll see. But if they do, they have to do it right. Yeah, and... Well, at I least, can, at know. least, um, Whisper and, and, um, oh my gosh, I forgot her, her Tangle? name, um, Tangle? Tangle, yeah, Tangle, uh, already appeared on the, um, what was it, the, Sonic Legacy, I think? Was, like, Sonic Runners? Uh, on, Sonic Runners? So, what, what yeah, Sonic Runners. Runners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sonic Runners, right, uh -huh. right. The, I, I the, think, uh, the mobile game. I think that's because, mm -hmm. I, I remember it was mentioned somewhere that, uh, when, uh, these characters were created, they definitely wanted to create it somewhere in the mind that Sega could market them if they wanted to. So, uh, I think that was one of the stipulations for new characters in IDW is that they have to be marketable with Sega instead of just being independent of the, to the publisher. Mm -hmm. Does. Yeah, they have to have, they have to have room to make them marketable, marketable plushies like, uh, like Whisper. <laughs> you know, going back to the plushie topic. <laughs> yeah. For a second. If that... In fact, um, why can't you why can't you W make a an affordable plushie of Tangle? Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was like, why is I there mean, a whisper plush hell. but not a Tangle plush? I could see that though. Like the tail is like like really stretchy. Yeah, I was also seen as being very bendy. Why can't, why can't every side character be a, be an affordable plushie at this point? <laughs> I can also no, IDW, don't turn me into a marketable plushie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, with like the uh, the new characters, uh, I also know that I think uh, a lot of people are speculating that Kit uh, is, in terms of the inspiration, might also be inspired by another glitch where uh, you can have Knuckles be blue, and it, for some reason the game thinks his his, ta his name is Tails. If you clear the stage, <laughs> well, so wait, that's one speculation. Wonderful nice. glitches, wonderful glitches. Yeah. What? I mean, it's not far off because, like, that's Starline was also like, you know, based off a glitch, you know, with um the Starline name in the files. I thought at some point, um, you know, Sonic Hacking Contest is coming very soon. I feel like these characters are gonna come back and be featured in a future Sonic hack. I mean, that's what I think. I don't know. It might happen. <laughs> and now I'm giving them more ideas <laughs> the more I think about it. So yeah, it's they like, don't... I don't know, do you guys have like any other speculations for like, uh, what possibly else they could be inspired by, or what... I don't know, they're really interesting characters too, like design-wise as well. I mean, in my, in my eyes, they, again, I, I think they look like um, those two ghosts from the um, from the Night of the Werehog short, but that's just me. I, I'm, also, I'm also very curious about this whole imposters thing that's being mentioned. Like, what what's up? What's up with the whole imposters thing? It's like, did I? Yeah, thank you. I mean, I have a theory just based on reading the current IDW issues. I mean. I mean, what cool. other imposter? Is, I mean, what other Sonic imposter <laughs> is there? It's what happens when you have a bad game of Among Us. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Sonic <laughs> like Among Us. Who's somebody? Who's somebody was bound to make the joke eventually. <laughs> you have you no know, people I'm have been making that joke like all <laughs> the entire time. Sonic what of Among it? Us. I'm imposter glad. syndrome is what it's called. Yeah, yeah imposter hey. syndrome. That's the miniseries. Got a case, a bad I, case of the sus. Yeah, I think wait. there's, I think there was a description for it too. I believe I don't know where it is though. It's out there somewhere, for the first yeah. issue. See, I was trying to look for a description. They said, uh, but uh, the article I was reading said there wasn't a description for it yet. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn there was somewhere. <laughs> so what's the song and pop song about? We don't know because there's there's no description. Maybe the plot twist, mm -hmm. the description. Is an imposter. <laughs> that, is, that would be a, that's the plot twist. The imposter the, the whole time. Whoa. Oh. What is this? Okay, I actually found um, the official official solic solicitation uh, for issue one. Um, 
would I would it be fine if I read it real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, a surge of imposter, no, a surge of imposters spelled trouble for Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails, and even Eggman. Doctor Starline, Starline is pulling every tool from his kit as he creates his fastest and smartest inventions. An all-new miniseries from Sonic writer Ian Flynn, Imposter Syndrome Number One, will have readers sing double. Okay, it sounds like they're going to have uh, the characters be imitated, like the, ma the main characters, but that still doesn't hold where... Or the uh, doppelgangers. Well, yeah. here's here's mm. my guess, just based on reading. Uh, does anyone recall uh, the previ one of the previous um, IDW issues where, like, uh, Starline kind of kidnapped Tails and Rouge, and he plucked, oh like, this God. little thing from Tails? Oh. Oh, boy. I mean, I missed that issue, but just the way you described that, it's like, oh, I'm I'm starting to get like, the idea. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, that's just my. Plane, yeah. Just based on like the solicitation. Yep. Um. Um. Somebody posted in, in the Twitch chat, "Spy gaming." I mean, it, it, it can't. I mean, that kind of explains it in a nutshell, based on based on on the description, of course. I don't know. That's just the way that was described. This reeks of doppelganger stuff. That's gonna happen. This yeah. This reeks of this oh, yeah. doppelganger stuff. It, I mean, I mean, is this, it, 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 it gonna be like like the the Mario and Wario situation where it's gonna be Sonic and I don't know, Lonic or something? Who knows. We just know, like, a lot of people are definitely excited for uh, Imposter Syndrome and the new characters. Yeah. Uh, I still can't get over the Amongus. <laughs> Saga of Amongus. <laughs> it's like, I, I think just uh, anything related to, like, Imposter or Amongus, just, it's, I'm sorry. It, it, it sounds it's, so it's everywhere at this point. You can't yeah, escape it's it. It's everywhere. Yeah. Everything is Among it's Us. Everywhere, <laughs> That's good. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the next ga Sonic game apparently. Sonic, I don't know. I don't know what the next Sonic game is gonna be, but it, there's gonna be a level where Sonic Sonic is in the world of Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I, I'm I if you wanted that, I can search now. YouTube for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I believe there's somebody who made that series. I believe they're called Sonic Song 182. They made a series like that. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. All right. So there is one last news topic I want to get to. And this one is uh, it's a little different because it's not quite Sonic related, but uh, it does have to do with comics and the thing that you can do with it uh, can be related to uh, Sonic if you make it, if you really want to do it. Uh, there's a there's a comic book uh, shop uh, like uh, franchise around here called the Coliseum of Comics. Uh, they have stores mainly in Orlando, Jacksonville, uh, Lakeland, and Tampa. And they're currently got on their uh, Manga Passport event. Uh, basically, you get a map and you go to each of the, uh, the comic book shop locations and you get a special stamp from them. And also you get a special pin from them, which I actually have some right here. Uh, I so far it started out in Lakeland. I started out in Lakeland. Uh, got the special uh, pin here. Wow! And uh, they also had a special one for MegaCon. I miss going to MegaCon, but when I went to the Tampa uh, shop, they actually gave me the MegaCon one just because they had a whole oh, bunch wow. of extras. So I was really lucky yeah, to get that. Nice. But that's mm. unbelievable. But if you visit each shop, you you get a pen, a special pen from each one. You get a special stamp, and each um, each shop represents a different uh, manga um, uh, franchise. Like Lakeland represents uh, 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 Sailor Moon, and you go Ooh. to yeah, uh, you go to okay. Tampa, and I, I don't remember what I think Tampa was uh, Pokemon. Uh, Tampa's Pokemon. Just like just like. I just like Pokemon. Got got find all the pins. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, uh, find them all. Gotta catch them all. So, them all, yep. 
So uh, I'm I'm setting out to uh, go to all the stores. I got to go to the ones in Orlando, and I'm actually next Thursday. I'm actually making a road trip up to Jacksonville. It's a three hour trip to go up to Jacksonville, but I'm oh. going to do it, and I'm going to get the pens from them, and I'm just going to make a day out of it. And uh, but if you get all of the stamps, if you get all, if you visit all the stores, uh, you get a fifty dollar gift certificate that you can spend at their store. And wow. since they have, Ooh, very yeah, nice. Nice. since that's they sell, since they sell like a, a bunch of Sonic comics and some Sonic merch, it's like that's a great way to get some Sonic merch is to, you know, participate in in this event and just get that fifty dollar gift certificate and get all the pins so- too. I didn't even showcase it to this very show. So. It's a, it's a fun little road trip thing that I want to do. Uh, the thing is, is that this is only going on until September 18th. So people got until September 18th to go visit all nine of the stores throughout the state. Which means you only have 15 days left. Yeah. Two weeks. Yep. I can, I can go hit up uh, Orlando at any point, but Jack, Jacksonville is the big trip that I got to go make next yeah. Thursday. And I originally was going to have a Sonic R show next Thursday, but since I'm going to be up in Jacksonville, I'm pushing it back to uh, next Friday. So we will have the Sonic R show next Friday instead of going to be thir- right. it's, uh, Thursday like I was originally planning. Okay. So. I look forward to that. So that's a little fun little thing. So if anybody's in the Jacksonville area next Thursday, that'll be, that'll be uh, fun to beat up. But, you know, if not, that's okay too. Um... <laughs> So, I and, say, hey, hey, I love doing Sonic R. <laughs> <laughs> Shake your hand, do a selfie with him. <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually. Also, I'll be like, I'll be tagging Coliseum of Comics at some point when I post up these videos, and it'll be like, who? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who? <laughs> uh, who is who is again? <laughs> Go to the Coliseum of Comics and be like, hey, Sonic Revolution sent us. They'll be like, who? <laughs> <laughs> who is that? <laughs> who is that? What's a... Uh. What's a Sonic Revolution? <laughs> <laughs> We're not... uh. Oh, Sonic R, I love that game. <laughs> so there you go. That's <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite? What's, what's your the Sonic fa- Revolution? Are you trying to fight the power? Oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what's the R stand for? Does the R stand for revolution? Does it stand for? Uh, I'm not gonna pronounce it right there. Oh, uh, it depends on uh, who wants to give me money. <laughs> <laughs> give us money now. We need support. It's good stuff, though. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's not radio. It's a revolution. That too. Hey. Ain't that true? So with that said, um, yeah, that's the end of our news story. And now we get to move on to more fun things like um, introducing ourselves because, you know, we're just a couple, we're just all just sitting here just talking about these news stories and people are probably staring at us like, who are these people? Who are these people? Who are you? (laughs) Who are you people? Who are you people? people? (laughs) What do you mean, you people? Though I will be really sad if you don't know who I am by now. No. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's gonna be you're gonna be you gonna video. you're gonna need to do a new intro for the new uh, people who are watching right now. Yes. yes. And for those who joined since the beginning, well, you probably know who we are already. Yes. <laughs> so. Because remember, I mean, they're they're the new generation, so they might as well find out who we are. Yep, that is true. So, and then we'll find out seventy years later. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to uh, in- introduce everybody, and I'll let everyone uh, do their own uh, introduce themselves. So, let's um, actually let's go ahead and start with uh, Ladise here. Hey, why me? I'm Kenny. Because <laughs> <laughs> he tells you to go first. He wants you to go first because you're awesome. That too. Yeah. We're all awesome, I mean, yeah. I, I'm not much of a talker, so I mean, but like, oh well. I'm like, yeah, my name is Luce. I'm also known as Angelina online. Um, I mean, 
I'm just an average person who likes anime video games and I'm a cat person who actually owns three cats and a dog. And, and I'm so a coffee cute. addict. Dogs and cats living together in mass hysteria. <laughs> I mean, my dog is just outside, and my, my cats is in, are indoors, so... Especially the two kitten, kittens that I actually rescued. Um, they're like the most sweetest, and yet the most lamest... No, not lamest, laziest <laughs> cats I've ever... <laughs> I've ever encountered so far. I mean, they're also pretty smart whenever they want to. They're just a bundle of joys. Aw. Yeah, I, I would love to see your cats whenever I come see you next year. Well, unless if they if they are not hiding under the bed by the time you visit. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Like new people. New <laughs> <laughs> people. Are they gone? Are they gone? Okay, this is there. Oh my god! No. Like that post is mine. You touch it. Just don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a sushi? Lix it. Mine. Oh, this is now my oh, is that is that is that is that my seat? This is also my seat. <laughs> no, I have a cat that actually wakes me up like at between five and seven in the morning. Oh, like wow. he's on my head and begging for food. Like feed me already. <laughs> now, now, there has been time my cat actually woke me up at 4 a.m. I'm oh like, my what God, are you no. doing? Oh. Like, who wants to pet a cat in the 3 in the morning? Oh boy, 3 a.m. I've never had a cat, so I wouldn't know. I, I mean, I, I, I have two cats at home, so. Uh, uh, oh, Jay, do you remember the, the toy I bought um, that I actually showed a picture of a, of a, of a toy? Fish? Oh, yeah, that, like, yeah, yeah. Insert... Yeah, he actually... At first, he gets... He was pretty the skeptical. He's scared of the fish. And now he... Like, whenever he's bored, he just plays with it. And, like, we hear it in the middle of the night. Like... <laughs> the noise. <laughs> scratching the door. Oh, boy. It almost not like scratching the door, but it's like... Like, a squeaky sound. Like... <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. I, it's I almost like a, I'm not touching you kind of thing. It's like, I'm not touching you. you. <laughs> I remember seeing it that makes fish the, on TV. The toy makes the noise. Yeah, I remember <laughs> seeing that toy being advertised on TV. So it's just like... Oh, imagine if it yeah. does. So, was there anything else you want to talk about yourself? Mm, myself? Yeah. No, that's all. That's all. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to move to... Um, dust in the wind so i'll let you go introduce yourself and show your credentials <laughs> will do my name is dust in the wind i have uh, been a sonic fan for about 20 years since i was a youngin uh, i've been rapping i'm a rapper i've been rapping for about eight years now eight years now um i'm a gamer in pretty much every single Every single company, whether it's Sony, whether it's Microsoft, whether it's Nintendo, I'll buy it. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I am currently the uh, moderator for a well-known YouTube channel out there called Sonic Song 182. I'm one of the okay, moderators yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. um, I've also moderated for Sonic Revolution before and done a couple of the yep. meet and greets with uh, content creators such as Project SNC and people like Tyson Hess. And uh, as far as me, I'm just living life to the fullest, just having as much fun as I can, you know. <laughs> Woohoo! I hear you there. Just like that, just like the one song from Song of the Black Knight, "Live Life." Yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much me. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess we'll move on to Eagle Cry then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, I'm Eagle, um, if anyone knows me, uh, within the Sonic, uh, community or the Sonic Circle, um, most people probably know me as the server owner for the, the Murder of Me server, which, funnily enough, is, you know, created by Gigi, uh, Gigi, Gigi, 
Uh, and I've been running the server for over three years now, and I've been a Sonic fan for over like eight years now. And that's what I pretty much do over there. And I've also uh, done, uh, I've also moderated for the Digital Sonic Revolution uh, conventions uh, two years along with some of these guys. And um, I guess I do some uh, VA work on the side, especially in Team Mom as of recent. So that's fun. I don't know what really was <laughs> to say them about me, though. <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's my partner in crime right there. That's yeah. my partner in crime right there. Here you go. <laughs> don't know where you're well, on the screen, but I'm trying to point towards it. <laughs> so like, just Dust, anywhere, anywhere. So basically, Dust is so basically Dust is Batman and Eagle is Robin or Nightwing. Which I think it would probably prefer? be the other way around. <laughs> you can flip it either way. <laughs> that too. <laughs> okay. No, I, no, I, I don't know. All right. Other than in this case, Dust would be Sonic and. Eagle would be tails. Yeah. Or the other way <laughs> whichever you, whichever you prefer. All right, Kevin, you are up. Hello, my name is Kevin. I have been a Sonic fan since the first Sonic game came out in 1991. Yes, that is how old I am. Uh, my very first Sonic fan site was Daniel Drazen's Sonic the Hedgehog website, which is actually still up to this day, and I still remember all the sad I am fan fiction that he. Did way back in the day. This is just that I think a bit before, after, excuse me, after that AM ended. Um, uh, one of the other sites I was fairly active on, I don't know if anybody remembers this, was called the Sonic Foundation. It was by a guy named Ted ZK. Mm -hmm. And the tagline was, Bring you the SGK flavor since 1999. This was the, uh, since around the time that Sonic Adventure and the Dreamcast were coming out. Of, so I saw like all the TV videos and everything. It was just so excited and hyped at the time. And uh, when I really started becoming active in the Sonic community was a site called SonicAnime.net run by uh, Shane, Shane here. Uh, I eventually became a moderator and then administrator uh, for that site until eventually that, that, that closed down. And that was, that was a Sonic X fan site. Uh, at, at the time, and then eventually I just mainly uh, moved over to the art community, and I became a volunteer for Sonic Revolution in 2018. And be glad to have, we, I'm more than happy to have you, just, we've been longtime friends, like. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, Lucas, you are up. All right. First off, thanks for having me here. Uh, I'll, I'll back to the guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> anyway, hello Twitch, view hello, Twitch viewers and viewers of the internet. I am Lucas Bradley. Some of you might know me from, me from recent years of me running a YouTube channel called The Fairly Odd Gamer in which I review licensed games or games based on a certain franchise. Um, since... Uh, Besides that, I'm also a voice actor, video editor, and mascot cost furry, or a furry who's also into cosplay. Case in point, I was, uh, for a few months ago, I was a moderator for um, this year's Sonic Rev, and I did enter in this in this year's costume contest. I was the runner-up. I was the I was the guy I was the guy in the movie in the movie Sonic costume, and I do have it downstairs. <laughs> um, my my Sonic experience, um, I. My gosh, um, in elementary school, I remember playing the some of the original Sonic games for the Genesis. I remember playing Sonic 2, Sonic 3, not Sonic, not Sonic 3 Knuckles, but just Sonic 3, and Sonic 3 Blast. And it wasn't until, like, when I first got my GameCube, I got to play Sonic Heroes, which is my first 3D Sonic game. And I've become a huge fan since then. I remember I owned Sonic Adventure DX, which, which would be my all-time favorite Sonic game. Um, I ended up playing the Sonic Mega Collection, which my introduction to, so to, to classic Sonic games, so besides some that I mentioned, I love Sonic from the, from the moment I first heard of him. Um, and voice, and I even voice acted in a few fan projects, including some Sonic related projects. In fact, some of you might recognize me as a voice actor for projects like Sonic Paradox, and I even did voices for a few characters from Sonic Seconds. And I even wrote a couple of shorts. Um, 
one sort that always sticks with me is that I actually wrote a one sort from Sonic Seconds in which um, um, Cream gives T hands over Team Chaotix um, their Chow. It ends up being Oma Chow. They scream in terror. They jump into the, the water, swim away, and Amy's like, "Well, that was easy." And another one I remember love. I remember writing was um, when Eggman fires the Eclipse Cannon. Um, you know, instead of firing the laser, it just shoots, shoots, shows the sun. Like, shoots the sun out, making an actual, literal eclipse. And he looks at, he looks at it, and his eyes burn. Because scientifically, um, you know, their eyes... Like, if you look at an eclipse for too long without these special glasses, your eyes can burn. You wonder why I wrote that? Because science is funny. And I... And yeah, I'm still active in Sonic Paradox. I have done fan dubs for for the longest amount of time. Um, yes, <laughs> yes, Paul, I mean, Matt. Um, I was actually a panelist for Sonic and Sega Fan Jam. The second and third year, I had a project called um, Sonic Tales of Miracles, which has now been disbanded for gosh knows how long. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very active. And yes... As a moderator, I did help out with some of the meet and greets, including uh, celebrities like M Emmy Jones and Mike Pollock, in which, in which, yes, I was there for Discord, everyone. <laughs> in the I bear witness to it. Mm. Yes, I and was. I a missed yes. it. Yeah, I'm mm. I'm, I'm, I was like, I was like, where were you? We need you for this. But yeah, um, what else can I say? Um, I love Sonic. I've been a huge fan, and um, I guess that's about it. I, I do have all these plus right here, yes. as you can see from the background. Um, and but Vector and, is staring and, at me in judgment. And Tails! And also, <laughs> I'm currently wearing the Sonic Mania shirt that I got since um, when Sonic Mania was released. Oh, I yeah. Did, I managed to get this shirt online, nice. which I, re I really love, so... I, I just love the game, and I still do. Um, and I was an active member of Song and Sega Fan Jam until its last run in 2018. Uh, but it was really, really fun. It was fun going, going to Savannah, meet, meet, meeting a few people there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I can say is that what else is there to talk about? <laughs> I, think I've, I think I've rambled on for too much. So <laughs> next. <laughs> next is actually last. That would be me and where do I oh, begin? <laughs> because you're in for a long street. It all starts the Let's day start I at was the born. Let's we'll start from the top. <laughs> from the top. <laughs> so yeah, first of all, I've been I've been a Sonic fan since the very very start when Sonic first came out. Of course, I couldn't get a hold of a, a Genesis at the time because my dad was part of the PC Master Race. Uh, at the time it's like whatever you can play you can play on the pc so i never got a chance to actually play sonic even though you know i've seen the, you know i got a chance to play the demos and stuff like that uh and i just fell in love with you know the cart especially the cartoons you know the cartoons were my first real taste of, of sonic but uh i got a chance to play the demos in the beginning when you know i'm in the toy stores or whatnot uh, always wanted the genesis uh Love the TV series, love uh, Sadi M and all that. Uh, e eventually, uh, uh, I ended up uh, getting internet access in 1998 and just got onto the Sonic community. And I was just immersing myself in right away. And just uh, I learned how to do websites. I learned how to do coding my own websites. And um, so at, at the age of 14, I started my first website. My my very first website, and this is probably going to blow some people's minds, was a little website I call SonicTeam.com. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I actually own what? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually owned SonicTeam.com at the time. Uh, and I, I had it from 98 until 2000. Uh, did my little uh, Sonic website stuff on there. And I actually started the Sonic R show on uh, sonicteam.com first off. You can go to archive.org. You can, you can look it up for yourself. You'll you'll see the, all that on there. Um, so, 
I started Sonic Radio on there. Uh, it was started out this podcast. Um, had a lot of fun doing that. And eventually, I moved on when uh, Sonic Underground started, and I did uh, a website called SonicUnderground.net, and I it was really like the number one resource source for uh, Sonic Underground at the time. Uh, I think Kevin, I think Kevin, you were around for that one too. Uh, I, I do remember that. I I do. Yeah, so that was probably the first time I I, I really uh, got a chance to meet Kevin was through uh, SonicUnderground.net. Uh, we had a little community going on there, uh, and eventually I moved on. Uh, Two thousand came came around, and I actually uh, came home from school one day, and there's this big huge giant package just sitting on my 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 doorstep and i'm like okay what what, what what's this what's going on i look at it and there is a letter from sega of japan uh the package came all the way from japan it was put it was put out there by dsl dhl so i opened up the letter it was from mr yuji naka himself oh my gosh wow yeah. uh Apparently he was contesting me because uh, he wanted the SonicTeam.com domain, and and I'm like, <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and from that point on, your website is officially owned by Sega. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but and, and thanks, because you know. Uh, most of these people just offer a price for it. They didn't, they didn't pay anything for it. They just get, I just gave it to them and they gave me a whole bunch of merchandise in response. I'm like, wow. I'm, I'm, payment enough. I'm 16. Payment I'm, I'm, I'm 15. Payment. You gotta realize <laughs> I was like, we'll pay your pussies. <laughs> I was like 15 going on 16 at the time. I didn't care. It's like, give me plushies. Give me merchandise. I don't care. i money means nothing I'm to me. Spend money on them anyways. <laughs> not get them for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then besides those, just, like you can't get them anywhere like here in the u.s you got them from japan yes the, these were worded. yeah these were the yeah. ufo sonic plushies that from the sonic adventure series wow i and that, i was thought like aren't the sonic adventure plushies the one they use for the japanese or is it something completely different i'm not sure that would be nice if, if you managed to get the plushies from the plushies they use in, in the commercials. Oh, that was yeah. Amazing. So, uh, that's just, you know, just one of the m most fun things I ever did. Um, and then uh, after that, I started SonicAnime.net because uh, Sonic X was coming up. And I, I came up with the domain because uh, the Sonic anime didn't even have a name at the time. It wasn't even known as Sonic X. Um, it was just like Sonic anime. It was like, website. But the website, so uh, we be we became. They, the... Did they try to get your domain for that as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, it's like oh, website. There we go. And then yeah. we'll get, and then they'll give you more plushies. <laughs> <laughs> we we did become one of the most popular uh, Sonic websites of two thousand three. I do remember that. Like we we won like awards, all sorts of awards that year. Oh yeah, that I remember. Um, <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, we we were the number one source. I found out that people from Archie Comics were actually uh, uh, looking up info on my website for the the Sonic X comics. Oh wow! Yeah, and of course we had voice actors from um, uh, the Sonic uh, anime dropping in every once in a while. Yeah, uh, Mike Pollock was around every now and then. Uh, even Ryan Drama made it made a topic way back when. <laughs> oh yeah. You gotta realize I'm I'm filled with a lot of pride about this stuff because I don't have a lot of stuff to be proud of outside of the Sonic fandom. So I try to take pride in what I do get. So if it sounds like I'm boasting a little bit, that's because it's like you're you know not, you're valid. This is your yeah, show. Hey, I mean, sure. those are your achievements you have accomplished over the course of uh, since ninety one. Long time. <laughs> yeah, a long time. So. Uh, eventually, I, I ran into some rough patches, and uh, you know, Sonic X fell into decline, and eventually, the website fell into decline until I eventually had to come to the conclusion of closing it up. But uh, I, I moved on with um, 
Sonic Radio. I I brought back we brought back Sonic Radio full time, uh, for a while there. Um, I probably won't go into I won't go into too much detail about that one because less said about that era, the better. Uh, I I mean I love Sonic Radio, but there are some parts of Sonic Radio I don't want to talk. But what about. if we want to hear more? No, <laughs> no. I want no. to think that this is them putting their foot down. As a no, 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 no. Uh, Ladise knows exactly why I don't want to go into it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Did you talk about it? No, 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no. I was gonna say yeah. But no. during the during the middle of uh, the the Sonic Radio era, though, that's uh, when um, Sonic Boom 2011 happened. And I was uh, living in California by that point, so I had an opportunity to go to Sonic Boom 2011. I went with um, my good friend Anthony. Uh, and while at Sonic Boom, I got to see a lot of people that I never got a chance to see other than being on the internet. I finally got to meet Sven and Adam from Sonic Stadium. That, w- that was so great to be able to unite with them. Oh, that was another thing. Uh, I actually helped Sonic Stadium at one point. I actually hosted Sonic Stadium at one point on my server. Wow. That was yeah, I do remember that error. Too. That was way back when. But Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh I, I already had I was already good friends with uh uh Sven and Adam just to be in the to see them in person was just so exciting. Uh Le, uh Ladise was also someone I probably saw for maybe about thirty seconds. And <laughs> we, we we met for like thirty seconds. Yeah. And we were just like, let's be friends on Facebook, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because at that time there was also VGL, which is a video games live concert. So I spent half of the time at Sonic Boom event and the rest of the time at the concert. I was uh I was also uh working for TSZ News at the time. Uh I was a special correspondent so I could report on Sonic Boom for Tristan. Um I I enjoyed uh being able to do that. And that's also when I met uh Aaron Weber for the first time when he was, you know, help running that event. So that was that was great being able to meet him. But I think the biggest thing that I also remember about Sonic Boom was being able to meet Yuji Naka in person. Uh oh. I actually still That's my favorite part of the story. I actually had his letter on me because I took the letter with me just to show people that, you know, Eugene Naka sent me a letter and all that to tell my story. And uh, when I saw him there, I, I just approached him like very quiet. Like, and I had, I had the letter in my hand. I just like handed that and my hand was shaking like really bad and he kind of <laughs> took it and it, it took him a moment to realize who I was and he wanted my <laughs> picture. He, uh, oh, yeah. he, uh, so usually now came to you and say, I want to have a selfie with you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he, he handed his, his, he, if anybody knows about Yuji Naka, he always had this special camera with him. He had always was taking pictures and stuff. He had, he has a camera with him. So, uh, um, wow. yeah, that's a number. Mm-hmm. So, uh, he handed his camera to one of his handlers and they, we got a picture together and he posted it on his Twitter. And I will forever remember that. By the way, I do want to ask: Do you still have the? Do you have the letter with you? I I have the letter. Uh, it's somewhere in my stuff. Uh, I don't remember exactly where I got put it, but I do got to put it somewhere safe. So, uh, mm. it it's put away for right now, but I do have it somewhere oh. safe. Uh, I oh. I remember I had a digital copy put up at one point. I don't know if it's still up anywhere. I don't think it is. Uh, I had to. I have to. I'm hoping sure. you have like that. You probably one. saved it on on Facebook. It, it's not on Twitter. Well, it's not on Facebook, oh. but it is on my hard drive because I, st- guys, oh, okay. I I still have a uh, hard drive uh stuff going dating back to '98 sitting on my hard drive. Wow. It's it's gone through several, yeah. quite a few transfers, but I I am kind of a um a hoarder when it comes to my files. Because aren't we all? It, I I kind of feel a nostalgia when it when it comes to some of my files from the old days. Yeah, I I feel that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Sonic Boom two thousand eleven was very magical. Uh, Sonic Boom two thousand twelve was also very magical. I uh, mean, Ladise got back together. And we went there. 
Um, mm-hmm. That that was that was fun going too. Uh, and what I liked about 2012 is that they they did the House of Blues, and we got a chance to sit up. They had chairs upstairs. They had seating upstairs, so we were able to sit up there and relax instead of just standing around because Sonic Boom 2011 there was no work, there was no sitting space whatsoever, like none. Oh. And I hated that. Uh, so. I feel like, yeah, because I feel like if you're on the floor, they're probably just staying on the floor, like jumping and cheering the whole time. Right. <laughs> yeah. I remember being there because, like, I was like front row and Crush Forty was on, and I had my camera with me, oh my and I actually have them on YouTube. So, actually, I have from two occasions, uh, 2011 and 2012 of Crush oh Forty concert. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh 2012 was where I got to meet Johnny uh face to face for the first time. You know, I you know, I saw him I saw the concert like 2011. It's like but 2012 is when I got to meet him uh face to face. So that was also great. That mm-hmm. that that got to be a huge honor, really. Yes. So I I enjoyed uh 2012. That's when we got the bad news for 2013. Uh Oh yeah. Uh Sonic Boom was not going to be in California that year. It wasn't even going to be in New York, which is where I would have expected it to go to if they were to move. No, it it went to St. Louis that year, and everyone's like, "St. St. Louis, St. Why St. Louis?" Smack you know, dab in the middle of the country. Because meet me in St. Louis. <laughs> so it was just like, and it was such short notice that nobody was going to be able to, nobody on the West Coast was going to be able to save up the go uh mm-hmm. by that time so it's like okay what are we gonna do we're we're not gonna sit here and cry and whine about it we don't do that that you know if you want something done you gotta do it yourself that's when we decided we, we came up with the name sonic boom west chapter and uh we did our own little get together at dave and busters we had about maybe 14 people but it was still fun and that's when we decided that the next year we are just going to do our own Sonic convention. Um, and Sonic Revolution was born. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's funny because we were trying to figure out what we're going to name this thing because, you know, Sonic Boom West chapter just sounded kind of, uh, uh, we needed something. Mm, we yeah. needed, we needed something. Like a yeah, it sounded like you had string attached, basically. Yeah. yeah. It, sound, almost, it almost yeah. sounded like a knockoff or yeah. like off yeah exactly mm-hmm. so we it's like i'm sitting there struggling trying to figure out what we're going to name this thing i didn't want to be you know just you know p- pulling names out of other things because you know summer sonic that thing going on i was almost at one point because there's some summer shadow but that was just not going to do a thing uh um, I mean, summer sonic was mm-hmm. on england i think right? yeah yeah so uh I was sitting there thinking, and all the in in the meanwhile, I was hearing stories that because of what we did with uh, 2013, other people around the comp- country wanted to start their own little Sonic uh, groups, and it it was like, you know, it was almost like this. We inspired this revolution, and I, I'm just like, I'm like, wait, that's it, Sonic Revolution. That's what we're gonna be. We we are a revolution. We've inspired others. I want to be able to inspire others. This is what it's all about. Sonic Revolution was born. And, and, then, a light, and then a light bulb pop, popped up and just like, bing! Yes. A, a little light bulb pop, <laughs> popped up in your brain. later and the song was made. <laughs> <laughs> when is there ever going to be, when is there ever going to be a song about Sonic Revolution? Oh, I made one. I made one. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you yeah. did a rap. Uh, I'm still waiting to see if Serenity Seven will do anything. I've I've been wanting them to do a Sonic, uh, like a like a rock song. I I love rock. Like Serenity Seven is like it's like the they we call them the poor man's Crush Forty. They're mm-hmm. they're really good. Uh, so you know we got Sonic Revolution. We we 2014 came around and we we started in uh, Buena Park. And um, we we had Aaron come and come see us along with uh, Stephen Frost from uh, uh, working Sonic on Boom. yeah the 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 game yeah. Sonic Boom we I, we should specify the game Sonic Boom <laughs> oh yeah man. the the guy mm-hmm. yeah. the guy That's was getting right. so much flack for everything 
which one? Rise of uh, Lyric or Sound Rise of Dimension? Lyric. Oh no! Yeah. yeah. The one question they asked is: So how how much did you I work on to the fourth? <laughs> <laughs> No, we were, we were very nice I to him. I just screw up in that game. No, we were very nice to him. It's the fact that he, yeah. you know, the Aaron brought him with uh, with him, so it's just like, you know, let's you know be nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it was still great. Uh, we had Tommy Tarico actually come see us uh, and talk about uh, his work with the music and all that. Um, and we also had Evan Stanley in there one year. Uh, the first that was she was with us like the first time too, so Evan's been a guest like every single time we've had the Sonic Revolution. So she's like Revolution alumni. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, didn't believe um, didn't Productions come in or was it or was it later? That was later. That was later. Okay. Yeah, I think he yeah. came in 2016. Right. And then there's the um uh was the one that they're working with Emmy Jones on that. Um what's his name? Oh Dorian Nelson. Yeah. I know that he wasn't able to make it himself, but he sent one of his animators with uh Yes, yeah, oh. that's yeah, that's the guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I his name's gone out of my head now and I feel really bad for it. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> but that was that was a great success, and we I mm -hmm. had so much fun. Uh, I I I remember uh, Ladise and uh, uh, her friend Chris uh, came in. Chris was the photographer, and they they brought they brought me Mexican Coke to try for the first time. I was like, I never had Mexican <laughs> Coke before, so it's just like. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> Mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mexican Coke was amazing. Oh, yeah. And now I'm glad to be able to see in the in the regular stores now, so. Nice. Um so yeah, we uh we had that in 2014 and we skipped 2015 because um I, I think we wanted to wait for 2016, which was uh Sonic's big uh uh 25th anniversary year. 25th, yeah yeah 25th, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. Was, so we wanted to do something big so we decided to uh not do sonic uh we did not do it in 15 just so we want to save the extra money to do it in 16 uh right. but 16 came around and that was even bigger and better than four uh still kind of regret doing it the uh the holiday in i wasn't too oh, fond of that <laughs> that place but you know, yeah, I, I was not expecting a Sunday full of Sonic fans. Full park parking lot. Yeah. It was pretty full. Cool. Yeah, the parking lot sucked. I mean, yeah. that's what happens when you first run a uh, this. If you have if you expect to have a lot of people coming in, um, it's I know it's best to start at a hotel, but but once but once you get like more attendees come in. Probably best to get a bigger, a bigger, a bigger, I want maybe better, but no, a bigger the size thing, venue. Yeah, the, the thing is, is that uh, we did it at LAX. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's when right a lot of people airport. were flying in for E3. Oh, right. And yeah. I didn't thought things through. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. okay, maybe we should have done that outside of LAX. Why did you think of that before? <laughs> So, I mean, it's just still a learning process. It was yeah, a so learning process when, yeah. once we figured yeah. things when, out. When learning convention. But yeah. uh, we had we had a lot more people come in. You know, we had like uh, Tyson Hess, we had uh, Ziggy Finn, uh, Reggie mm -hmm. Graham. I should say he wants to be known as Reggie Graham. So Reggie Graham, uh, Belena Productions, I think. Belena, um, yeah, you know, we, and of course Evan was back. Uh, we also had Cyberlink from um, the uh, the Sonic uh, F. Sonic F. Thank oh, you. Yeah, Sonic, yeah, Sonic F, was, which is also another, um, which is which is, which is another show made by yeah. Sonic Paradox. Yeah, uh, I, I'm friend. I was friends with uh, Sonic uh, uh, with uh, Cyberlink and uh, uh, Game Buddy from uh, the Sonic uh, Anime.net days. Yeah, they go way back. 
Yeah. And, and they did the and they did some of the, and they provided some of the earlier voices for Sonic Paradox if I and I know Game Buddy yeah, still does voices they, for Sonic Paradox. Been, yeah, they've been around like a year. Mm-hmm. I, I feel I always felt like I inspired at least one of Game Buddy's animations, which was the whole Sonic and Shadow uh bit from uh, Sonic <laughs> I, I felt Shadow. I felt like I was resp- I was uh partially responsible for him making that dissimilar because I was such a Sonic and Shadow nut that I was driving everybody crazy with it. On purpose, but I was driving people crazy with it. So you were the one that so so you were the one that wrote the um Sonic and Shadow looking at fan art on DeviantArt? No, I didn't write it. I just <laughs> um I think he was inspired by me. Oh know. my gosh. <laughs> but it was funny because many, many years later he actually came to me and weirdly apologized for it. I'm like, I thought it was funny, dude. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. It's, like, it's funny. <laughs> Sonic Storks, man. The early days of Sonic Paradox. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we had Cyberlink there. Uh, but I think one of the, one of the bigger controversial uh, guests was uh, Ken oh. Penders. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I yeah. remember when, when he came. I'm like, we, we had to provide a lot of security for that one. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah oh I God. had to, I, when I made the announcement, I made it with the statement. I was like, hey, I know a lot of people don't like him, but he was responsible for a lot of the storylines happening in Sonic. And no matter what, you know, what he's done, he has helped shape Sonic's history in the comics. And it's not fair for us to just pretend he didn't exist just because, you know, we, you know, <laughs> don't care for his uh, current policies. So just care of the fact that he was involved and he and he helped out a lot in the Sonic fan base. Mm hmm. So I thought I thought it was only fair for him to come. So I am I invited him to come and I put that statement out and people started making death threats and people started, you know, saying you know, some crappy things about Sonic Revolution, like, you know, this this is why, you know, Son- Summer of Sonic is better. I'm like, okay. and But uh, we were worried about those threats, so uh, we end up uh, asking for some security. Uh, the all, threats are this is my God, response to all the... Altuve was and this is hotel. my response to all the people who have made death threats during that year. Don't make death threats. Just Shame. That's just Shame on you. Yeah, Shame yeah, on you people. Nothing, nothing serious happened as far as I, I remember. Yeah. That, that was a good yeah. Time. That's good. But, uh, I, but, yeah, that was all of our guests. Except there was, um, there was one point that uh, Aaron approached me. And he said there was a, there was a couple people who was going to bring with him. I didn't tell anybody. Oh. I did not, you not even tell Ladise. I did not even tell her. I was not going to tell nobody. I, I really wanted to keep this as much as I wanted to see the look on everybody's faces when oh, Eric no. showed up with his <laughs> guests. It's, like it's not going to be like the end of um um the the end of Nintendo's uh, drug stream. It's like, well, wait, I have one more thing to show you. <laughs> the ending surprise at the end of every direct stream. <laughs> I got one more surprise, and they show it right away. So, uh, so in the middle of us doing our thing, probably about two hours into the event, Aaron shows up, and with him are none other than Izuka and Hoshino. Oh, the original, mm-hmm. the director nice. and designer for Sonic Adventure One. Yes. Nice. <laughs> So they came in, and, and of course, everyone's face is dropping through the floor. <laughs> and, and Lucas, <laughs> Lucas, looking at me like, "Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you warn me?" I'm like, "Nobody this knew." Is why? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knew. <laughs> I didn't Might tell anybody. <laughs> and let me just say, yeah, uh, the the lines that formed, did yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stampede, just like, uh, uh, uh. like I would have made him. I would have made it just. It's like we we got our picture took taken with them. It was just so it was just so fun just being able to do that. So, mm-hmm. uh, I feel like Aaron Weber was a a god when it comes to to Sonic social media. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was like he he was really great, and then he left, you know, for a while there, and then you know he came back and pretty much saved the uh, the Sonic social media 
because yes. he, he said he took a chance because he didn't think that he was going to last that long if, uh, if he did that stuff. But there was like, you know, what's the point at this point? Things were dying and he, he just took a chance and <gasps> oh, he just breathed and it pay- life. And it paid off. Yes. The 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 news articles about the 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 Twitter just were just coming up because like what is going on oh, the yeah. site <laughs> social media <laughs> like what is happening <laughs> it's like a nuclear meltdown <laughs> apparently yeah so yeah ever since 2016 we've we've had um revolution consistency almost every year it's like you know 17 18. 19. Except last year because of the ongoing pandemic. Well, even yep. then we had the digital yeah. ones. So. Well, yeah, the digital ones, yeah. That's, and that's when the, and that's I will say that despite the digital one being uh, put together uh, pretty much last minute, that was a huge success last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Given what we had to mm-hmm. work with. Yep. And I'm still pr- so proud of everybody who helped come together to get that put together because I was losing my mind. I was uh, I was in tears. Mm-hmm. I was I was having panic attacks and everything. And that was my first time attending Sonic Rev in the, in, in a digital con last year. That was I I visited there last year it was amazing, and then this year came. You sent out the, the announcement saying, "Hey, if anyone wants to help mod, like everyone else, I I was just lucky to I was lucky to even be accepted." So. Well, we're glad to have you, and you're we're glad to have you back uh, anytime. So, I'm always happy to help out in any way whatsoever. So that's pretty much my very extensive history. I think I've been talking forever now. It's just like <laughs> I feel like you, I feel like you talking about your, I feel like we just talked about your whole history of going to Sonic cons. <laughs> if that's what you're saying. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've I've always wanted to go to summer of Sonic, but I've not been able to afford to because I am a very poor person. Well, oh yeah, I am a. Very uh, poor I was person. the only person in, in the group that actually went to summer of Sonic, and that was 2011. What was that like? Uh, oh, it was awesome, line, and it was very hot in, inside <laughs> that place. Yeah. That, that was there's the thing with 2010 and 2011. So basically, like there was there was no air conditioning in the UK. I mean, they had yeah, air so conditioning, so but it wasn't working as proper as here in the US. <laughs> oh yeah, man. to step outside yeah, to take a breather. Huge band and everything. But yeah. I, I think that was one of my stipulations to Ladise when we were looking for a place for uh, our uh, for revolutions. Like, there's got to be working AC. It's Southern California, dude. Absolutely. Yeah, and that was an inside inside joke for a while, for a few years. So, like, there has to be a better air conditioning, yeah. not like the one in the UK. Yeah. No. Now I think the inside job is that we need to find a place with better internet. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. That's now really... that's yeah. 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 Because I remember that when um Sven and uh, Adam went to our Sonic Revolution in the, what was it, in 2016? And that, that's when they realized that AC here in the U.S. is much more better than the one they had to have deal with the, <laughs> the one is Summer <laughs> Sonic. It's turbocharged. We provide better air than... <laughs> we're, we're, sorry, UK, but we have better air conditioning in the U.S. And I because also, this is America. <laughs> I also think... America! America. <laughs> I also think they were asking about. Uh, they realized that we were spending a lot cheaper on um, uh, on uh, venue space than they were too, because you know they were asking me about that, and I was telling them they're like, "Wait, that's it? Do you know how much this place would cost in in London?" Oh, like, oh, oh yeah. boy, yeah, they paid a lot more for venue space in London. I'm like, how- yeah. Uh, if that's if that's the amount in, in UK pounds, how much would it cost in US dollars? That's the question. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh. It's 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 like uh, it's already midnight, midnight here. over there. Burning the midnight oil. We're in different time zones, apparently. Yeah. Right here it's nine PM, so over here it's eleven. <laughs> 
I yeah, for me it's midnight. Yeah. And uh, we still got to get over to uh, uh, the studio audience to try to take questions. Uh, yes, for we're gonna have you. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have you take questions. Yeah. Ask us a question, and then we'll answer it. Yes. So if y'all want to jump over, if you're in the Discord chat, please jump over to the studio audience, and we'll jump in there in just a few minutes, and we will take questions from here, and uh, we will air them here on the stream. So, um, yeah. Um, come meet us over there and we'll, we'll see y'all in a few minutes. Hey guys, uh, there we go. Hey, let me go get some water real quick. All right, and uh, Eagle, if you can, we will. Uh, let's go. All right. Oh, okay. I was able to. <laughs> let's see. If we get uh, get some links in um, on the. Uh... Oh God, you can't use webcam in stages. Yeah, I'm sad. Like it, it's the. If at any point they ever dis if they ever update Discord, there needs to be an option where we can use a uh, webcam for stages. Because the only time you use webcams is like for like literally just the uh, um just the chats. Yeah, it is what it is, though. You know. That's true. Like for the life of me, I couldn't. I was having such a hard time finding the stage. <laughs> yeah. Um. People on the Twitch chat are saying the stage is locked. Oh. Oh. Oh shoot. yeah. Yeah. We, we need to open up the um the stage for uh attendees. Yeah. How do we do that? Um. Let's see. I could. Oh. That would explain why I can't seem to find it on the list. It just said something's live, and I clicked it. We'll see what we can do. You see, it says here, members only. Only members of your server can join. So. Yeah, we're working on fixing it. Yeah. It'd be nice if you, if you entered, like, uh, some music to, um, uh, like, what what fitting music w could be used for, like, waiting music? <laughs> I could pull up some sonic music here. I got some. <laughs> No, enter the um the fake reway theme from Song of Adventure One, where Amy has to go through the Hall of Mirrors. No, no, no. How about the one from uh the one that they used for Sonic Generation for the um what was it the trophy room? Oh yeah. <laughs> that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, where's my playlist at? Uh, yeah. That's something we should do for next time. We, we like, like whenever, like, like let me whenever see. we go Sorry. What? Uh, why? We're trying to see why they can't get into the state channel. Yeah. yeah that would be a permission. That's what we're trying to work on. Because then we, then we had that problem fixed when we did a uh, Sonic Rev. Yeah. So uh, I'm yeah. looking at permission thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm gonna get something to drink, so Go ahead. I'll me, have yeah. the, my headphone on, but you probably have to hear noises from the living room. My dad was playing an accordion like an hour ago. I'm like, just send him a text. I'm like, I'm, I'm live right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, can he play the accordion song from Sonic 06? Oh God. No, he played he played um uh, the the Norteño style. He play. He prefer like listening to Mexican music. 
Especially in Norteño. Uh, okay. So you say it's it's kind of it's a, a, a like um polka. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Just, just 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 let them know um if if it's open now. It should be open. Oh. Let's see. Do we? Have yep, any... it is. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, it is. Very good. It is. There we go. We. There we go. Now we got some people. Very good. <laughs> Come, my people. Yes. Come, come. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> come on in, people. Yeah, yeah, then that's an option. All right. Oh my gosh, my cat is like, every time I open the fridge, he's like, Right in front of me, trying to see what I have in there. Like, he knows there's food inside. Yeah. No kitty. We love you, Kitty. Like, oh great! Now my cats are inside. Come on! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it would have been nice. It, it would have been nice if the cats came in during the stream. I made sure the door was closed so, so that they will leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> So I think with the way this th the stage is set up right now, I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave the Twitch screen sitting on the quote unquote starting soon screen. I need to get a better screen for it at some point. But... Yeah. Okay. We, we could have something like add something like um like uh now now to type in your question. Be sure to join the Discord server, or you can type your questions here. Yes. Yeah. And it, it could be. Lot... I'm sorry. It could be anything Sonic related, like, you know, just ask us our thoughts about, you know, certain Sonic topics or whatnot. Just, you know, pick our brains. Maybe we know something that you don't. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Some of us have been around since the very beginning of Sonic, so maybe we know some stuff. Also, I love how, how the, um, the, how the image, the background image you use for starting soon is actually a uh, rendered image or I think a promo image for Sonic Briar Zero Gravity. Yep. I, I, I mean, love I love that artwork so much. I also love Sonic Riders, the, the game. Uh, oh, zero I... Zero Gravity was my absolute favorite. Oh, I mean I love I love Zero Gravity, even though I played on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Um, but Sonic Riders is my favorite out of the three. With Sonic Free Riders obviously being the bottom of the, being at the bottom. Uh, so Cash was asking, uh, is it possible that the show can be earlier? And well, I, I that's really down to everybody's schedules and whatnot. Since mm -hmm. I, I do not make that schedule. Yeah, yeah, I unfortunately I pick ten o'clock because I typically work all day, and you know the soonest I can get home will be like after eight o'clock, and I need to be able to get home and eat. And by the time I get all that done, it's gonna be closer to ten o'clock. So that's why I chose ten uh, o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like nine ish, but hey, what can you do? You're the one in charge. <laughs> yeah, I I tried yeah. I tried doing it at nine o'clock before when I was trying to do Revo Retro with uh, Ladise, and half the time I was still eating food at that time. By the time nine o'clock rolled around, so that's why I pushed it back to ten. Yeah, and I mean, what when you told me this morning that about today at seven, and I'm like, wait, that was today. And I I had to do everything early in the morning. Like, I got up at seven because my cat woke me up at seven a.m. I asked my dad, "Did you feed the cat like around five or 6? He's like, "Nope." I'm like, "Oh." I went there and feed my cat. And while I was still up, I had to do some um some chores, like you know, clean up the litter box, and then I have to prep the food for um for breakfast, make coffee, you know, and then um like pack some stacks for the road and drinks because I wasn't going to go run around with my dad because he also does delivery and I help him because 
and having to understand English and speak English. And I'm the only person that actually got vaccinated for COVID, uh, against COVID. And I'm like, you're not stepping inside the restaurant. Let me do this. Let me help you. And um, so I help him around just driving, um, doing deliveries. And then we actually hit the mark uh, for today. I'm like, we came here early and I had also, like I said, I prepped the food before, um, before anything. So I made hot dogs wrapped in bacon. I can hear your dad again. Oh, hear, dang I it. Hear, I can hear the accordion. Ah. <laughs> Come on, I, I want to hear the accordion song from Sonic 06. <laughs> you know, I used to work at a local music school. And so we had, I like, I had a student. Well, I, I wasn't teaching, but I was working as a secretary. So there was a student who actually learned how to play the uh, Super Mario Bros. on the accordion. Wow. Oh, wow. That was it. I couldn't even tell them, oh, can you play something from Sonic the Hedgehog? No, they won't do it. It's just the Mario one. Oh, we have someone who had raised your hand. Yep. See, oh, um, okay. Are we, by the way, are we live right now? Are we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he, sorry, sorry, people. We, we were just talking about random stuff that... That's, That's okay. On. It's not like we have a real rush of people uh, coming to the stage right now. So All right, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. It's our first show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. You. Hello. Wait, no. Can you hear me? Yes. Right, I don't yeah. Want yeah, that. yeah. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. So I got a few questions. One, what's it like being the head of a like a project also what sonic are because i have no idea what 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 sonic are what let's yeah. see uh we're a well-known racing game from 97 sonic r show up but what is that okay the sonic r show it uh started out as a radio show back in 1998 and we would uh play the audio from the Saturday M shows. And then we'd also play music uh, in like a countdown style, uh, the top five voted Sonic uh, songs. And then later the Sonic R show evolved into uh, discussing about Sonic news. And uh, we played a lot of music. Uh, it was, it was all about radio on, on our, our streaming radio station. And then eventually the radio got shut down and I decided that I still wanted to bring the Sonic R show back, but I decided the R was going to not represent radio, but it was going to represent revolution. So a Sonic R show. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, although I do have another. Uh huh. Two. Uh, hold on. What's it like being the head of a server that actually has people in it? <laughs> Overwhelming. That's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Like that. That's why we have mods. Yes. Yes. And it's like half the time I'm just so busy that I need my mods to be able to, you know, help me run the server because I can't always be here to do it. That I'm barely here half the time anyway because of how busy I am. It's like, <laughs> but whoa, whoa! I mean... Oh my god, Ladisi, uh, 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 what? Uh, that music is so fucking loud. Oh, dang it! I, I was so... we have... sorry about that. Um, we we also have an accordion player here <laughs> in the stream. They are amazing at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All I can say. That's too bad. <laughs> the fact that uh, that it was so loud on her her mic was was something else because I know he's he's in another room, so it almost sounded like he was in the same room. Wait, he's yeah, in the I same room. Wow. I mean, the walls have ears. I mean, because they're not soundproof. That is true. My walls. Yeah, are it, it, 
Okay. Because like I, I worn headphones, uh, the I worn headset. I was still picking up the, the sound. I'm wearing the um, noise canceling headphone. It's still picking up sound from outside. I'm like, oh my gosh. I bloody swear, my my the walls at my at the place I'm living, where I'm living, they are thicker than a freaking. They're thicker than a car's walls. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I can't go a day without, mo without my mom, like, having to call me because she yelled my name and asked me to do something, and I'm like, I didn't hear you at all. So. Okay, looks like so we got another hand up. We also have, yeah, we have a. Uh, okay. Disco the uh, game dev. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, there we go. Hold on a minute. Oh, thank you. Are you good? Yep, we're good. good. We're good. We're good. And then... Oh, sure. let's go if you are there. If you're there, you can accept now. Yeah, it should be good to go. Discord, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... That's... Li is it, yeah. It all started with Mike Pollock. <laughs> it's like it, was... no, it will not get old. No, it will not. The meme will be a poster, I swear. I love it. Would you have to like give him royalties if it's ever sold as merchandise? <laughs> Try to figure out what's up. You it should be, um... We will come back. Yeah. Uh, um, he's trying to figure out oh. what's up. Oh, okay. Um, Here, I'll we'll get to the news. next person. Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, yo, what up? Hi. Yeah. How's it going? How are y'all doing? We're good. We're well. How are you? Doing, doing quite fine myself. I came up here to ask, uh, what are your thoughts on the latest Sonic movie news considering the, um, uh, Idris Elba casted as Knuckles? Oh, I yes. Oh, <laughs> We actually, yeah, we 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 actually talked about it today. Yeah, we did. We, mm -hmm. we it was but like the very first. Huh. It was the very first news topic we talked earlier today, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> we're we're really excited. All right, my bad. That's I, okay. I, I, no, you're, that's good. you're okay. good. No, you're good. You know, it's it's better to have some content than no content right now. So, uh, <laughs> I feel that. Anyways, thanks for bringing me up here. That's you're okay. Welcome. Yeah. That's okay. All right, so okay, I'm with Disco now. We'll try. We'll try again. Take two. Uh, Disco, you should. I think it's at the top that you should see something, if yeah. I remember right. Yeah, yeah, you should get an invitation. Yeah, like you should get. Yeah, you you, you should be able to um, accept the invitation. Like we. Not getting one. Uh oh. Huh. Oh no. Not again. Mm. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Discord. Discord, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here, how about we'll uh, let's we'll see. You know what? We we need a sound. We need a sound bite of Mike doing that and just play it every time we have problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Every time I did make a clip on it on YouTube. Yeah, if we yeah, had a soundboard, no, no, if we had a soundboard, this would be the first one to add to that soundboard. Yes. Well, uh, just here. Can't, can't speak. He said, what is the average cost of attending Sonic Revolution from out of town? Well, that varies. Yeah, I was going to say that it, was yeah, very where you live. Yeah. Wait, what was the question again? What is the average cost of attending Sonic Revolution from out of town? Uh, yeah, it really depends on how far you're coming from. He says, um, from Texas. Hmm. Uh, you know, you gotta pay for that flight, and you gotta pay for a hotel room, uh, yeah. and then pay for depends the ticket. Depends on which airliner you're taking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, here's, here's a little hint. You may think that Spirit is cheap, but it's not. Oh, no. Hey, Take down, hey, trust me. Oh, he said, um, also, what's your thought on SCU? <laughs> oh, oh, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Yeah. 
Sonic Boom. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet. I, I ordered a physical copy and it doesn't come out till September 7th, so. And I had the digital deluxe version and I have not played it yet. <laughs> oh, and Ace has main reason I main reason I drive to Cali. Well, that was Ace saying that one. Yeah, yeah and no, Ace saying that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, yeah, I feel like some people are much safer. Like, if they don't want to spend money on um, on a flight, probably best to save up money just to drive, just to drive there. To fly. It, to fly. it depends yeah, on how far. I mean, I, mean yeah. uh, I actually drove from Central Florida all the way to Southern California in a matter of three days, but that's because I've been driving for 12, 12 hours each day. Oh, wow. <laughs> Like I said, I got that drive coming up. I'm, you know, packing up and heading to New York soon. I got a drive to do. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, travel. To New York. And now I got uh, more people coming in. Yay! More the, people! The more the, more the merrier. The more the merrier. Oh, we, <laughs> we have one. Uh, Delta Tag. I'll, I'll buy hey, it. I know who that is. That's, that's, a, that's another sound bite we need. Hey, uh, it I, should be good to go. Uh, we go ahead. And, uh, I invite him. I invite him. Hopefully, uh, he'll. Uh, Delta, hopefully. do you see it? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, no. oh, oh there we go. Hey, 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 <laughs> oh, you were on the That's air. Good. That's good. I missed. Did I? Mi I think I missed the entire thing because the Twitch stream it just shows nothing, right? It it's it just says starting soon on there, but that's only because um. We uh, haven't had a screen yet. Yeah, we don't have oh, a proper okay. screen yet. Yeah, so you're good. Hey. Hi. Hey. So, uh, what's, what's your question? Your question? Go ahead. Mm, I'm not sure. What is the Sonic R show going to show? Show. What is it going to? Like, what, 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 is, what is it going to entail? Yeah. yeah something like that. that. What kind of content is there going to be for this? So. Show? This could be. The first and foremost is that we're going to relay any uh, kind of Sonic Revolution news that we we have. Uh, we didn't have any this week because uh, there's not going to be much in the way of Sonic Revolution news for a while. But other than that, we're going to cover like Sonic news topics that happen throughout the week. We, we went through a lot of topics today, especially with oh. involving the comics. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we discussed all that. Uh, we're also hoping to be able to get uh, uh, guests on for uh, like the little interviews. Like kind of like a uh, uh, a mm -hmm. night a night uh, uh, talk show. All yeah, right. that's how, that's how I think more like um, yeah like an actual talk show. Except we have um, more more hosts than one. Yes. Because hey. the more the merrier, right? The more the, the merrier. merrier. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Oh, what are we gonna get my call again? <laughs> anyway. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we gotta get him as a guest in one week. Okay, well, we need to. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We do. This is the midnight yeah. revolution. Midnight yeah. revolution yeah. in exactly. September. Exactly. Uh, yep. Midnight revolution in September. We might as well have a Christmas revolution, <laughs> or at least a holiday <laughs> revolution. Not even. Not a Halloween even, revolution. Don't even talk about Christmas. <laughs> it's not even Maven yet. Yeah. <laughs> and just so you know, Sonic only appeared in one Christmas game, and that's the one with nights. Christmas nights in the dreams. Yes. So with that question, I actually have to get going now. So oh! I will see you all. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, Ace, Ace well, needs to Ace needs to come in, so look, looks like we yeah, are gonna let Ace in. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna leave this uh one and then let Ace talk. Okay. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye, Kevin. Good night, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Thanks, Sean. Bye, Delta. It's good to see you again, man. All right. Uh, let's all invite him back in. Yep. All right. Yep. There we go. I've got him invited to speak. Yep, there they are. Hello, hey. Ace. Again. Yo, yo, I'm back. Uh, so an another question I have. The plan is sometime whenever y'all are doing Sonic Revo in person, plan is to go out there to Cali and do it. My main question is how much are tickets normally for the event and how big is it generally? Uh, shoot, what do you say? 
Blue DC was the one in charge of pricing uh, the last couple years. Uh, the DC, how much were yeah. tickets last year? The tickets? Yes, the tickets. Mm. Uh, let's see. Um, starting from the early bird special, around five, six dollar, and then at time goes by, it goes up to twenty at the door. So yeah, if you if you get I'm on the early bird new special, to, like Sonic conventions. Uh, and I'm slowly working my way up. Plan is next year, if they're doing Chaos Creators in Texas, I'll tr try that out first. And then, ultimately, the plan is to go up to Cali for Revo. Okay. Oh, nice. Mm. Well, we look forward to meeting you I thought, when that happens. what better way to get the information than asking the... Uh, um, uh, than asking the, uh, the founder... Or co-founder of the uh, event itself. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I I stop I stop mid sentence there because I um have a bit of a uh, language problem. Oh, uh, okay. So I kind of like censor my myself regularly. I gotcha. around, Especially around yeah, places like this. Okay. No, I completely right. understand. I, I was trying to find the right words because I didn't want to come off as that one guy who, like, 50% of his vocabulary are words that you can't say in a church. Right. <laughs> right. That's a good well, word. We, you can't say that, that. Well, we do yeah. appreciate you, uh, at least, you know, making an effort. That's that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no problem. We're, we're pretty easy going around here, but well, it's so good ladies, to try to make that effort. Stay ladies, safe, uh, have a good stay one, healthy, stay take care, guys. I'm actually going to dip out of the uh, thing right now, so. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. Take care, Ace. Stay safe. <laughs> I just, take I care. All right. Later. I noticed that um, in the. Wait, you were going to say something? Yeah, yeah, I was going to notice that in the so discussion ch chat, I noticed that people are putting in hashtag saddle revolution. Shadow revolution. The thing that, like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the what? SS one eighty two been doing? <laughs> That's what we've been the doing. The edgiest Sonic convention this side of America. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's take a look oh. here. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Stay Thank connected. You. Thank you. All right, let's take a look. We got another raise the hand here. This is Valen Studios, Studios here. Let's go ahead and bring them in. Hello. 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 Oh. Um, Hello. Uh, can we can hear you? But can you hear me though? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah, there you no, are. Yeah, you are. are. There mm -hmm. you go. It was like delayed for a second, but you're good. Yeah. yeah it was delayed. So, what can we do for you? Nothing much. Just came here to chat uh, with some uh, some uh, people. Like... Okay. Oh, uh, we, we were wondering if you had a question. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, this is like a little question answer thing. Yeah. I think, like, it was just like a regular, like, VC or something, like, except, you oh, know, no. like, inside. Oh, no, 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 this is a stage channel. No. This is a stage channel. I know it's a state chance, just so you know, I thought like, a, you know, people were just like, you know, like talking like it feels like a VC or something instead of oh. like, like, like choose, like you ask questions, stuff, you know, like, like, uh, you know, back at Sonic Revolution, you know, the other Sonic Revolution is already the official one, like, mm -hmm. yeah, this, in a way it kind of is more official, it, it, it feels more official, basically. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the playback like, official. You just like come here, you get chosen, you get to like chat for a bit. Like, I'm sorry if I was like interrupting or just like wasting time. No, it, you're you're okay. No, 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 you're okay. You're okay. We just you know this. Yeah, this is a this is like a question and answer thing. We'd be more than happy to chat with you, but you know, as long as you got a topic that we can talk, you got a question about, you know, we'd yeah. be happy to answer your question and well, talk I about it. I don't really have any questions at the moment. Like, oh, okay. Well, 
You might as well boot me if you want. Like. Alright. Okay. Later. Yeah, I Alright. Uh, yeah. Delta has raised their hand again. Alright, mm -hmm. here. All right, yeah. Delta, come on down. Delta, come on back You're in. There's an assessment of ask the song our people a question. I, I still remember. There we go. Uh, oh, there, yeah. we go. Oh, there we go. Another question. Yes. Is, right. If Sonic Revo is going back in person, will it be extended to two days or three days? Oh, or... no, 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 no. Oh, no, it's just no, one no, day. No, 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 no. We can only handle one day. Yeah. One day. And that's on the oh, Sunday. So I'm guessing like an entire weekend doesn't work because that's too much cost. Yeah. That, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, I get exhausted after one day, so it's just like I want to go collapse <laughs> on a bed somewhere. Yeah. yeah th this is this is not like Anime Expo in which they have four days. I don't know how they handle wow. it. I mean, they have a lot of people yeah. for volunteers and stuff because yeah. I used to be a a staff. For, I'm guessing um, if it's like two it's days, months. that would have been too much to handle. Particularly if it's two days, that would take place in like a a hotel at least. Wait, didn't mm. um, yeah. you know, ten, actually to be ten, to, to be perfectly fair, didn't we, didn't this year's Sonic Revo have wasn't this year's Sonic Revo two days? Yeah, uh, it online. was mostly during the birthday online. weekend. Because yeah, it was online, yeah. It was yeah, mostly it during was online. the birthday weekend. Yeah, it's easier to do it over an entire weekend online as compared to trying to do it in person. Because uh, right. mm -hmm. online well, is uh, the the low, own, it's the low, low home. cost of free. So Yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think it'd be easier to, like, and this is why we, we're doing two cons next year, one in person and one online. So mm -hmm. that way, if those, didn't, if those didn't attend Sonic Grab in person, we'll have another chance to be at a Sonic Grab, but online. Which is, a, a, which is, a, which is a much better deal for us. Yep. So there, there are people who can't make the online, who can't make the one in person, so they go to the online one instead. And then there are some people who said that they prefer the online one because they don't do so well around crowds, which I can, I, might, I can completely relate to. <laughs> I might need mm -hmm. to try to grind on my job so that way I can just drive my, way, uh, fly my way to California to just, you know. Oh, absolutely. It's like when I finally go out there, I'm going to tackle my biggest fear. <laughs> Flying. I'm going to tackle my biggest fear. Large crowds. <laughs> oh, no. oh, especially after, like, what, uh, this year, like, last year? Yeah, definitely, like, a fear for, like, almost everyone to conquer. It's so something. mostly Revo was well held in one place rather than just jumping every place everywhere in America. Yeah. And that's in SoCal. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Why can't Sonic Revo be in every state? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, much, I mean Sonic Boom much. did it. They went from Missouri to New York. But, but here's the thing about Sonic Boom. Sega has money. Yeah, Sega oh, has great. money. Sega did fund that. Yeah. We're, we're with... just uh, two people who are working on pretty much uh, the, the, the cost of minimum wage at this point. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine if Sonic Revolution was funded by Sega? Wait, at least what? had some funding by Sega. What? They go, yeah. any, they go anywhere, like from. Yeah, I feel like if you were out, out of the California era, let's say Milwaukee, uh, Denver, Tampa, Miami, Atlanta. That's gonna be St. Louis. You just gave us the idea for a potential Sonic Revolution tour, if it were to happen. Yes, a Sonic Revo tour. The summer tour. Trust me, I wish we had Sega's money. New York, Boston, Tennessee, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, Nashville. I I always said I always had a dream. If I even had partial ownership of Sega, I would make some major changes. <laughs> Cincinnati, Columbus, Cleveland, Richmond, Oklahoma City. The list goes on. If I, if if I had partial ownership of Sega, I would say 
mostly keep everything in tech and for some one thing let's do away with these stupid mandates that y'all have about some of these characters <laughs> especially more shadow. shadow please, please. yes <laughs> no, I, like toss those out of here and then, no 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 and what and one of the and one of them is Chicago and one of them Detroit. is going to be sound revolution <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I feel like now we just found out. We just found the meme for, for today's for today's stream. Hashtag Shadow Revolution. <laughs> yes, we need a Shadow Revolution. But that would just be a panel, right? I mean, that could that could be, that could actually work. Like Shadow Revolution, an entire panel dedicated, dedicated strictly to Shadow. <laughs> Phoenix. Las Vegas. In a special live stream of playing Shadow the Hedgehog on. Oh, no! So, I mean, if we, if we one day start, like, decide to do a live stream uh, gaming of Shadow the Hedgehog, which version do you guys want to play? The GameCube or Game... the PS2 or the Xbox? GameCube. 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 The PS2, um, the Sonic games in PlayStation 2 have very questionable um, sound quantization. Sound compression, and not to mention Sonic Heroes, because keep in mind, yeah. Sonic Heroes in, P in PS2 is Sound the worst is version awful. of. Sound compression is bad, and and longer loading screens. Yeah, I, I gotta agree point, with the PS2 like that being. Point, Sonic was, the Sonic Heroes PS2 was just a beta test of what Sonic 06 would become in oh, PS3. Oh no! <laughs> oh wow! Three years before. Okay, okay, here's a story with you guys because like. Back then, I was a um, art student at our school, and so I actually had the chance to go to E3 2005. And back then, I actually saw the the teaser trailer of Sonic 06. Back then, didn't have that the the official name of it. Oh yeah. And at the Sonic same the Hedgehog 2005. Yeah, yeah. And then at that same time, they had Shadow the Hedgehog uh, demo, and so I actually played. Three, the, the the demos of GameCube, PS2, and Xbox, and so I noticed the 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 lag and the glitch on the PS2 and the Xbox. And I'm like, yeah. By the time um, it was that ready was for pre-order, I, I went with the GameCube because it was the better one. And I, I and like it was a demo for goodness sake. And I thought they were gonna fix it, but no. By the time it's I heard the beta, review, right? when like, 06 was in its pre-release beta testing uh, it could be i mean because like the, the the shadow the hedgehog for ps2 it's like they didn't even bother fixing it and that's what i heard you know mm -hmm. it's it's funny you mentioned about being an art student and that just happened to remind me of a story uh back when i was an art student and i was riding on public transportation uh, in mm -hmm. tampa and, uh, you know, so-and-so my Sonic stuff and they started, you know, talking to me about Sonic a little bit. And then they're like, well, you know, uh, Nintendo owns Sega. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And he's like, yeah, it does. My teacher told me it did. I'm like, well, your teacher's <laughs> a moron. Wow. <laughs> the oh. Revo Tour. Should we, if we ever had a Sonic Revo Tour, should we do Northern States first in the summer? Because those... T states t tend to freeze in the winter or fall, that, and then we can just do the um, Sun the Belt Eastern. states. I think that's something I can't really, I can't really imagine anytime soon. Just you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if, if we get to, Sega's money, yeah. If we were to have, if we, if it were to happen, then maybe. If yes, only if we get Sega's money. Yeah. <laughs> we do Northern states money. first in the summer. Because they tend to get very cold, particularly if we go to Boston in the winter. <laughs> nah, Minneapolis in the winter has a much worse. Minneapolis, oh, much worse. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> That's typical Minnesota flair. That is much worse. <laughs> oh, North Dakota. Any of this, that area, it's yeah. just nasty. It's like negative forty, negative fifty. Does Does North Dakota even have Sonic fans? Because I don't. I might you never know. Either. There's probably a Sonic fan in each state, at least. Minneapolis has some, at least, because it's a big urban area. 
Well, I know there are just some states I want to just totally avoid right now because of how stupid they are. That is true. Oh, yeah. is why I'm running. You mean like avoid Florida at all costs? Yeah, I think I think I think Eagle. Yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> I, I think Eagle and Recently, I will both tell you. Yeah, tell, tell, I don't want to talk about that. Eagle. Eagle mm-hmm. and I will both tell you stay out of Florida. Just don't even bother coming to Florida, guys. Stay out of, unless it's called unless it's called like Louisiana. Get out of the South. <laughs> yes. Get out of the South. Unless if it's North Carolina, eh, North Carolina can be. I don't know. I don't know necessarily if I. I don't know necessarily count that as the South. I count that as the middle of the country. Yeah. So if North Carolina is okay. Besides, they have the best barbecue. Changed my mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> plus yep. you have. Plus it's the birthplace of NASCAR. You'd be yeah, fine I... watching the Coca Cola Six Hundred, or the very least, the Roval. The only reason I'm still staying in Florida is because a I like the environment, like, and when I say the environment, I mean the actual environment, not the people environment. The yeah, I kind of figure about that. You that like the weather there. instead of we the don't people. talk about Florida politics there. There, that's crazy. <laughs> I agree. Mm-hmm. If I want, if I never talk about politics ever, yeah, no, we don't talk and about I, that. I there. Take, that's crazy. And just so you know, like... I quote Linus. Ve- I quote the great Linus Van Pelt from Peanuts. There are three things I've learned never to discuss with people. Religion, politics, and the great pumpkin. <laughs> and tell- only- we are one month away from always, Halloween, uh, and yet it's we... It's always those two. And <laughs> now, and in like, now, we I are one month like, away from really- Halloween, and we... And you make that I mean, we're close to Halloween, now, so... I mean, pumpkin spice now, is in season since last month, so, oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I gotta, I gotta say this. In Florida, it's hard to talk, not talk about politics because anything is now considered pol- politics. Anything. Oh. anything. Oh, <laughs> we gotta thank their and, governor, though. And, you know, <laughs> speaking of Florida, um, you know, this year is... Um, I know I'm going off topic, but... um. Uh, Disney World is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. Ooh. Not 25th. Um, oh. it, they're celebrating oh. their 50th. Uh, so, Walt yeah. Disney World is celebrating, the, celebrating their 50th. Yes, the 8th anniversary. Thank you. I was wondering, yeah, I was wondering about that. It's yeah. starting on October 1st, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the the only thing like, I really have to add in terms of like politics is at this rate, Sonic could be president. <laughs> we have to get a Sonic. We have to get the Sonic voice actor to be president. Oh, uh, RCS, RCS for president. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic. Yeah, yeah, which Sonic state will president. he represent, though? I mean, California. <laughs> no, imagine if Egg, you know, imagine if Eggman were president of the United of the United States. Tax cuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Delta. Was there anything else? Uh, I don't know. Not sure if I have anything else. Okay. Alrighty. I think that should be it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Later. Later. I'll give everyone a chance. Later, okay. Later Delta. Yeah, I feel like one thing you know, people are probably asking or tell or po- posting in the in the discussion room like like what their favorite. Uh, yeah, mo- I've been favorite... the, like questions in there as well. Yes. Yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for, and, and if you don't want to come up stage, that's that, that's fine. Yeah. Go ahead and send your. Uh, your yeah. You can go ahead and here. ask go your ahead. questions. Yeah. So if you don't, if so, like if you don't want to go up on stage, but you still have a question, that then fine. Then go ahead and you can type your question in the discussion room. We'll be Absolutely. happy to. And, and people are asking about favorite. Mo- One thing we we haven't talked about is that what's your favorite Sonic game. Like what Sonic game? Oh, like, 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 what is your favorite Sonic game? Ooh. Classic, mm. modern, Ooh. any era. Who who wants to go first? Uh, I suppose I'll, I will. Uh, for me, probably would say uh, SA two, Sonic Adventure two. It's probably my favorite of all of them. Just because of the full presentation of it and yeah. the gameplay, it just you know it just works. Yeah. What to do you think Todd of the Howard? Game... It just works. What do you think <laughs> of the game's story? I like the game's story as well. Yes. I really do. Regardless of which side you're standing on. Oh yeah, for or, sure. Or or the main plot holes. <laughs> yeah, plot holes. 
They're in every single one of the games. So, yeah, yeah, plot holes are in everything. It's just, you know... And some of much... the plot holes are so tiny, you, I can't even fit my pinky finger into them. Yeah. So... <laughs> so some of them are just nitpicky. <laughs> Honestly, some yeah. of them are, I've always felt. But, uh, yeah. That would be my favorite. Yeah. Uh, anybody else want to input here? Mm, for me, it, sh it would be Sonic Adventure, the first one. Ah. And also Sonic Generation, but uh, most mostly like the Sonic Advent Sonic Adventure one because of the open open world. Yeah, I think also oh, yeah. Sonic Unleashed, but but Sonic Unleashed um is like the second game that have open world um, but I think that's only for the X. Yeah, um, for Xbox and, and PS4. PS4. Uh, oh, yeah, PS3. PS3. Uh -huh. yeah. But Sonic Adventure 1 is the like the first open world that um, Sega Team actually uh, implemented at that time. Yeah. Yeah. And going go back to what I say, I, I too love Sonic Adventure. In fact, I mentioned before that uh, Sonic Adventure is my all-time favorite three 3D Sonic game because um, I have m way more fond memories of it. I love the character design. The story flows together very well, even though it's separated into six character stories, seven if you include the final story. Um, but it all it all blends together beautifully. Then because the 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 story in Sonic Adventure 2 is just like, it's just, and I know it's three stories, but it just doesn't flow very well. And I'm sorry, I'm so, and my apologies, Dust, but I think the uh, the story in Sonic Adventure One is much better than Adventure Two, in my personal opinion. opinion. Man, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know everyone has fine, their own yeah. taste, so that is true. You know. mm -hmm. Um, but for 2D Sonic though, that's a hard one. Um, I do like Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, no, 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 no. I like it. I like Sonic 2 because that's the first Sonic <laughs> game I, I've ever played. Um, Sonic Mania is actually pretty darn good, and and I I'm hoping that they if they ever do like a um, a sequel to Sonic Mania, like Sonic Mania 2. I mean, I mean Sonic Mania was a huge was a huge a huge success because it it was a throwback to the classic Sonic era. Amazing! It's, 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 overall, the, the that game was amazing. I'm glad I got to play it. It was re re really incredible. Uh, so who is next? Uh, Eco Cry. Uh, yeah, I guess I I guess I could go next. Um, <laughs> so it's funny because like I mentioned it during the introduction, is like despite like being a fan for like over eight years, I have yet to really play any game in full. Like I played, you know, uh. From like uh before i really became a fan i got a the classic collection from my brother never could get back never could get past like act one or two or like zone one or two and like any of them because i just stunk so bad uh then tried lost world generations because they were from my brother as well still couldn't get past i just i was not really good at games really like at all as a kid um so the thing is it's really hard for me to form an opinion on anything as like what's my favorite unless i've like played it in full and uh unfortunately the only game that i have played in full um like the like my official like first sonic game um <laughs> was forces and i i'll say that that's definitely not gonna be my favorite one after <laughs> i actually get, once, once i get, I get to, to playing the rest of the other games <laughs> but i do I mean, own sa2 on um, steam still so i might go back and actually try to play that in full right. once i have the time. Oh, okay that's pretty much my answer. Okay. All right. Well, that I... just leaves uh, <laughs> you, Sonic Remix. Yep. And I, I'm going to say this up front. Uh, first of all, uh, it's going to be a two-way tie. But first and foremost, it's definitely going to be uh, Sonic Adventure 2 because that's the introduction of Shadow. And Shadow, I will love forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Um, even though Sega nowadays, you know, completely screws Shadow completely up um in fact i don't think shadow's been that great since 
I think the last uh, game that he was actually good in wasn't even him per se. It was the alternate persona of him from Sonic and the Black Knight. Uh, oh, um, um, Sir Lancelot. Sir, Sir Lancelot, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that was the last. No, I just bragged on. That was the no, last I just good. Bragged on it. That was the last good portrayal of him. That was the last good portrayal. Uh, when, never, never he showed up again. It's just like, it's just like, oh my god, what? And and that, and that was the last oh, edge uh, so sharp that I could shave with it. <laughs> and that what was the like last a... shadow in Sonic Four. At least I know I ragged on it, but at least that was pretty decent actually. Yeah, that was that also bad. the last game from the Sonic Storybook series. The first it game was, was Sonic Wolf. And, and at least, and that was probably at least better than Sonic and the Secret Rings. Yeah. Um, but yeah, getting back on track there, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, I love the storyline. I love the fact that, you know, Shadow was introduced. That made me cry at the end, uh, when, uh, he, uh, quote unquote, died of light. No! No, I was glad they brought him back. And they didn't, you know, they took their time about him being coming back because, you know, they gave him the memory loss and, you know, him eventually worked through it. And that comes to, uh, my, uh, tie, uh, with uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and this one's a bit more controversial, but I actually like Shadow the Hedgehog, the game. So I... do I. So do I. <laughs> so I'm curious. So it's on the rise for popularity, actually. Like, a lot more people are, like, getting around so to it. So which non-canon ending from Shadow the Hedgehog did you like the most? Yeah. Um, the full hero ending. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh, him man. working with Sonic and yeah, <laughs> uh, I approve of anything where Sonic and Shadow share a scene. So, oh wow, I mean, yeah, we got actually, I mean, you know, the the other cool thing about uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog was you know hearing some of the characters actually do light swearing. Just all right, they forgot. <laughs> yeah. Where is that damn fourth <laughs> chaos emerald? I believe Sonic swears in there as well. Yeah, he did I say. I, I think he said "damn" like once. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, the Geo and Commander says "damn," and whenever Shadow gets hit, he says "damn it." Yeah, of course. Yep. I feel like it was probably one, of the, probably the only Sonic game where it only where it got darker, basically. And more adult, I wouldn't say adult theme, but just more, more, more strong language. Yeah. Also guns. Mm -hmm. And guns. Yeah. Uh, yeah and guns. It was definitely not appreciated back when it first came out. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like it was, I feel like that was Sega's answer to Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they didn't need to try hard to beat that. <laughs> well, from what I understand is that Shadow the Hedgehog was the result of the co lowest common denominator when uh, Sega did polling, basically asking, well, A, what's your favorite uh, gameplay type? And what then, what's your favorite Sonic character? So uh, shooting and guns, uh, Shadow. So shooting and Shadow. So yeah. Uh, but I'm glad they didn't make it FPS because then I would have had a real tough time. Yeah, that would have been. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think they're going with the. I think they're going with with the route with the, um, you know, Gamma, uh, was a, a more of a shooter type, so it's not the they gonna it wasn't the FPS back then. Yeah. The, the 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 way they did it like you know how they did it with tails uh in sonic adventure 2 with the shooting uh mm -hmm. i i think i think they went the right direction with uh the shadow the hedgehog and the way they yeah. did that yeah yeah and, and also <laughs> yeah and i understand that um we actually get to play as agnet in a mech but mm -hmm. i guess um that's the, the one question i always wonder is why is tails in a mech though i guess they're trying to make tails and eggman clones but that's... Well, no, I think they had to do that because, like, for for um, you know, for the two different um, uh, for like the heroes and the villains or uh, whatever they're called, I'm so tired. Uh, they had to make sure that um, each opposing character had, had the, a similar had, had... style, like opposite each other. So I think right. that's why tails the mech to you know be oh, opposite of that. Right, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, because like um, apart from that and the uh, Sun Adventure two, um, they also have the um the battle section, like thirsty. 
the main story, and then there's the battle for like um the one uh, one on one players. Yeah, but at least in the, in the child garden, it's it literally the only time where you can actually play as Sonic. I don't know Tails and Eggman out of their max. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's where it came from. <laughs> bring back the Chow Garden cowards. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So what are they bringing about the yeah. Chow Garden? Bring back the Chow Garden. I think, I think, and I think a lot of people have said this. They, they really need to bring the Chow Gardens as a mobile game. They really do. Yeah. 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 Sega. Said that. Sega. <laughs> for that. Sega would make a butt load of money if they did oh, that. They'd, yep. they'd be knee deep in cash. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I like, wouldn't even care mo- if there's microtransactions. Like it, with all it, the mobile it, games going on right now, I think that the Child Garden would be a perfect idea for a mobile game. I it, mean, if they were able to put the Child on a VMU back in the Dreamcast era, why not on a freaking mobile phone? Right? They also they also tried that with the um, with the Game Boy Advance, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you could connect yeah. your Game Boy Advance, and it, I think there was, like, an island as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chow Island, I, I think. Yeah, that was in place, like, after, you know, the, the Dreamcast was no longer a thing, I mm-hmm. think. But I, well, wasn't, the, wasn't, the, uh, wasn't the Dreamcast the first console to have, like, internet access? Yes. Yes. Right. And they just beat the, uh, the PS2 by, by that capability. I don't know. I forgot the PS2 was able to run the internet. No, I do know Se- uh, the Saturn had the uh, the Sega channel where you could subscribe through a cable service to uh, right. online gaming. Right. I didn't. Then they also have on, on the Genesis, I think. I I, I don't know about the Genesis, but I do know it was for the Saturn. Oh, okay. It was very short lived uh, service, and I don't even know anything about it. So just know that there was a Sega channel. Yeah. So. Yes. But yeah, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow of the Hedgehog are my favorite. And then uh, for the story, I actually enjoyed Sonic and the Black Knight as a story the most. Because uh, I I love the uh, the whole Arthurian legend and the fact that <laughs> if if you really think about it, you know, with uh, King Arthur and uh, the, Sir, the, Sir Lance- the Knights of the Round Table, yeah, and Sir Lancelot. That means you know, Shadow is Sonic's most loyal knight. Um. <laughs> yeah. You know, I can imagine if they did Song of the Black Knight. Could you imagine if they did that but in the style of Monty Python, the Grail? Oh lord. Oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, lord. No, Sog is St. Arthur, Tails is Patsy. Well, you know, the, if, the, um, the be... Sonic Storybook um, series are vastly underlooked. I know. Yeah. Mm. I could, yeah, I would have met. I would have. And then, of course, um, Song of the Secret Rings was based on Aladdin. Mm-hmm. I would imagine if it, if it was based on the Disney version. Oh, my God. I actually have imagined that. I imagine, imagine stories like almost like a crossover type deal. <laughs> Sonic and Disney. <laughs> Just imagine, like, what other storybook series to Sonic... What other story... What other classical... Literature should Sonic make games, make games of. Like they are, they did Aladdin. They did King Arthur. What else? <laughs> Beauty well, and the Beast. I mean, at one point Sonic did turn into a werehog. Well, it has to be it has to be uh uh folklore and legends from around the world. It can't be you know just right. a whole bunch of specific ones because if you notice you know you had the the Middle East Arabian. Uh, folklore, mm-hmm. and then you had the um, the the Celtic fl- folklore, right? Mm-hmm. They're probably gonna do one based on the on the Chinese folklore, I guess. Maybe. Mm, I mean, there's a lot of folklore in the Asian culture, like the one in India, and then there's Korea, and there's That's Japan. True. Oh, what about oh, what? the the Monkey King? Oh, Monkey King. Hmm. I did not know that. 
I mean, I can I can imagine the Monkey King being one of one of the, especially since of the whole ties with uh, Dragon Ball and all that. Oh, that that would actually make a perfect link. And hmm. some, somebody actually posted in the uh, discussion. Um, you know, funny enough, um, Sonic would be owned by Disney because keep in mind, Sonic did make a cameo in Wreck-It Ralph. Oh yeah. Oh no. It makes sense. <laughs> Yeah. Several times. Yeah, that's a scary thought. <laughs> Several times, yes. And actually, Sonic had more lines in the second one. Oh, wow. Yeah, teaching him Ralph about the good old internet, because yeah. uh, he knows the internet well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sonic would know more about the internet than any other game character oh, there. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> poor soul. Yeah, I know. Well, by the way, what exactly is the Monkey King? Because I have never heard of it. I've oh, heard gosh. of it, but I don't know the entire story. Yeah, I don't remember the entire story. I know that even in the Sonic comics, they, they covered the Monkey King a little bit by uh, the character Monkey Con. Uh, Monkey Con? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've i seen a bit of it. Of it. I'm just I'm looking at Monkey King in the on Wikipedia right now. Oh, here it is. The Monkey King is a legendary mythical figure, best known as one of the main characters in the 16th century Chinese novel *Journey to the West* and many later stories and adaptations. So, I yeah I think so. If that were the case, who would I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna ask who would be the characters because that would take way too much time. I have. I honestly don't know. I mean, they probably had to like redo which character will be the Monkey King because um, they can't do Monkey Con because that's an Archie comic thing, and we already know the Quagmire mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Well, uh. Let's see. Is he well? Is um. Let's see. Isn't the Monkey King? Isn't um. The his full name's like what? Um. Sun Wukong. Is that character public domain? Sixteenth century. I think it is all uh, public domain at this point. Yeah, they could probably just like use that same yeah. name and just yeah. like design a character around it, just similarly oh, to like the other storybook. Type oh wait games. a minute. I, I, I know you mentioned Dragon Ball Z. It's funny you, you say it because Monkey King in Japanese is literally Son Goku. Which is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there you go. That's why I was talking about the whole link to uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Now I know why. That's why, you know, Goku had a tail and all that. And was riding on a cloud, which is also what... Uh, I think that's also what the Monkey King did. He rode on a cloud. And, and funny enough, in Dragon Ball Z, um, people... Uh, the car just did ride on clouds. Oh, the, the Nimbus Cloud! Now I remember. Now I remember oh, the yeah. Nimbus Cloud. Dragon Ball Z. Now, keep in mind, I never really watched Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, but that's because I couldn't get into it. So I only know, know from no, little I bits. I haven't even I, I've either. gone into it for a while. My introduction to Dragon Ball Z was... Um, um, the video game tie-in called uh, Super uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Because mm. I actually played a game at a friend's house one time, and I ended up owning it for the GameCube. I love that game. Dragon that was my introduction to... Um, it was basically like um, condensed versions of um, each of the Dragon Ball Z sagas up to Cell at the time. And then later the they introduced uh, the Majin Buu saga, and uh, yeah. It's Dragon Ball Z Budokai was basically just the first three sagas condensed, pretty much. Mm. Oh, we we veered so far off this topic. Yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> there, oh, there yeah. was one other thing I want to mention before we close this out because it's already after one a.m. and I am getting yeah. super sleepy. Oh, so I'm just going to mention one more thing. Definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when it ahead. when it comes to the classic games. I actually have to put out that I like, and this is going to be weird, I actually like Sonic Jam. And let me tell you why I like Sonic Jam other than just, you know, just, you know, Sonic 1, 2, or 3. Sonic Jam 
had a mode called Easy Mode. Sonic Jam was how I was able to finally complete Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Knuckles. Because before, I could not beat them whatsoever because I am a terrible game player. Easy Mode let me get through and see the story off to the end. And I even got a chance to get all of the Super Emeralds and do the, su- the Super Ending wow. to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So... That's why I and like Sonic Jam, and they need to bring back Easy Mode. Oh, and you, oh, and you talk about the the, the Sega Saturn version, right? Yes, yes. What do you, What do you think of uh, Sonic World? The only time where where you can play Sonic in three D in that game. I mean, that was pretty cute, but I got bored of it after a while because oh. it's just a it's just a museum. <laughs> One like, thing I didn't um... really know. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, like, isn't like um the physical copies of Sonic Jam aren't they like pretty rare to come by? Yeah, yeah, definitely mm-hmm. rare. But Sega needs to bring back uh Easy Mode to a compilation compilation uh set. Uh, it would be great if they did it for Origins. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel yeah. like um Not- we did have. I mean, like we ha- we we've had Sonic me- two two Mega Collection games and the Gens Collection. Why can't we have one like a, like a a, com- a compilation like a compilation game for the three D Sonic game? That would be amazing. Well, I know there was the Gems Collection. They there was the the, uh, the Saturn games were thrown on there, and even because uh, you had a uh, you had a uh, Sonic the Fighters. Not R. Sonic R. Oh, sorry, Sonic R. And Sonic the mm-hmm. Fighters. And, and Sonic, uh, I think Sonic 3D Blast? No, no, no. no Sonic the Fighters. Yeah, I Sonic said so- yeah, Sonic the Fighters, uh, Sonic R, and, and Son- what, what was the it last was one? Sega, it was Sega CD. It was Sega CD. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast was in, in the Gems Collection. That, if you talk about Sonic 3D Blast, that was, in the, that was in both of the Mega Collection games okay. of the Genesis version. The Saturn ver- I think the Saturn version... Uh, wasn't in any of the compilation games at all. Which is a shame because the Saturn version was the more superior version, in my personal opinion. Although, I don't know if you played the PC version, but the PC version is basically, um, it plays the same as the Saturn version, but the special stages are watered down. Um... But yeah, I, I think one of the most memorable things I remember about Easy Mode for Sonic Jam... When you play Sonic 3 and you go through the Carnival Night Zone, the barrel is gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they took out the barrel completely. You go through easy oh. mode, they just remove oh. the barrel. Just go Ooh, through, take your time, see the sights. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, like the the infamous barrel from Carnival Night Zone is just, you just, have, you just go up and down, up and down. Oh, by the way, speaking of Sonic Three and Knuckles, um, what do you think of um the "quote unquote" music by Michael Jackson from Sonic Three only, or I mean, Michael Jackson inspired music from Sonic Three? I mean, well, it's a Sonic game. The music's gonna be good, yeah. No matter, what, no matter what it's inspired from. I mean, that's that should be another debate on: Did Michael Jackson really do the music for Sonic Three? And that's going to be a debate because, um, I mean, they were inspired by Michael Jackson. Inspiration and production are two different right. games. They're two different ballparks. I mean, yep. it was, um, I know there was some, there was an inspiration for uh, definitely Carnival Night Zone because of Jam, the Aqua Mini Boss, and I believe Launch Base Zone. Those are the only three I can think of that had um, Michael Jackson inspired music tracks. I think when they when they re-released it for a PC, they just removed those tracks completely and made um, new music tracks for those stages. Now, I mean, like regardless, though, like oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, I just you know we were talking about music here. I gotta ask everyone here, excluding Game Gear because Game Gear soundboard sucks. So I'm yeah, not going to even include it. That's true. Do. Don't do it. Um, uh, which music? Uh, which uh game had maybe the worst music? 
Oh, first oh. music. Oh, first music. Oh, oh no. That's, that's a hard. Oh god. Oh, that is hard because pretty that much. That's a that's a huge curveball. Because <laughs> pretty much all of them are like good. So it's like I know. Oh. Oh. oh man. <laughs> well, okay. I know one. Be I know honest one. with you guys, I cannot recall a soundtrack from Sonic Boom like some. Rise of lyrics, nor the the um, shattered crystal, nor the fire and ice. Oh yeah, those are the ones that I cannot yeah, recall yeah, any of the soundtracks. Soundtrack it's not the too. worst. It's just before. that I don't remember the soundtracks. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know if it counts, but there is one song in a video game that literally is ear ear bleeding. The infamous Austin theme from Sonic Spinball. From what? From um from Sonic Spinball the Oh um, Spinball, the okay. <laughs> that one. Like I'm gonna oh. go to I'm now, like, yeah. Oh Sorry. geez, I'm listening it to now. I see what you mean, huh? Yeah. That's an interesting choice of music with that one. Now, um, I wouldn't call it the worst, but I felt like some of the, one of the most uninspired soundtracks, in my personal opinion, had been uh, Lost World. It's like, you know, you have... I was just fixing to say that. Yeah, <laughs> it is uninspired. I mean, the main thing, some of the soundtrack was um, okay. It was okay. Mm -hmm. Not That's a good word to describe it. <laughs> Just okay. It's okay. I, I have never been bored with a Sonic soundtrack, but Lost World yeah. was so inspired, uninspired. I just like, oh my god, can't we go back to the days of Sonic Colors or like Sonic yeah. Unleashed or even Sonic... What? Sonic 06 had an amazing Sonic soundtrack. Sonic 06 had like... Even though, mm -hmm. yeah, even though Sonic 06 song. had terrible gameplay, it was still fantastic. Heck, it has my favorite song from any Sonic game. It's like a recurring thing with like every Sonic game, like no matter what, pretty much like most of the time, every song or just a bunch of the songs are just complete bangers. I would, you know, when I first heard um, Fist Bump from Sonic Forces, I always thought like they were gonna sing. Um, I thought I thought that was a I thought this was gonna be a remix of "I Am All of Me." From South the Hedgehog. No, 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 no. It sounded heck like no, it. No, heck no. I knew it wasn't going to go that direction. I feel I no that. here, no evil. Black Friday. Like, it world. was way, it was like way, like, different. That's what it as sounded like to me. Of it. I mean, if you want to, like, mention another song for us, one, another one that uh, people mention is uh, Faded Hills. You know, the <sighs> aforementioned instrument that make your ears bleed. Oh. At the start of the song. <laughs> I, really, yeah. I also like the um the light of hope song from yes um, the, yeah, the song you hear in the end credits first yes. the light of hope I love that song to death uh I will I will tell you right now the 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 fist bump and light of hope is actually what got me through some dark times uh when uh Sonic Forces first came out I was dealing I was going through some very very bad I was in a very bad place uh mm -hmm. during that time y'all I. Angelita knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was in a very dark place at that time, and um, Fist Bump and Light of Hope actually helped me get through it. Wow. Well, crap, I was going to say something about li Light of Hope, but now I'm going to feel like crap if I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. It's like, why, I like the song like, so... a lot. It's, when I played the game, though, it, so it sounded so out of place with like the. Uh, just the end, the end credits, I guess. But yeah. like on its own, it's really, really good. Well, Be believe it, believe me when I say that Light of Hope, I was actually relating to it a lot, and it helped me reflect mm. on my outlook. It's like uh -oh. you know, no matter you know, no matter how much is gone, you still you're still standing. So. Oh. Uh... Yeah. It it was it was a very bad time. Yeah. I just, but let's yeah I I never the only time I ever played the Game Gear games was when I was playing the DX version because like if you unlock like if you earn like at least like 
20 emblems or 30 emblems, then you unlock a uh, Game Gear. Right. Yeah, you unlock a Game Gear game. That was my introduction to the Game Gear games in general. Then I played uh, Sonic 1, Sonic Chaos, I think. Mm-hmm. And, and I think Sonic Dread was there as well. Um, but I never owned a, I never owned a Sega Game Gear. I never played any of the uh, Game Gear titles. Um, I just didn't know that Sega had a. Um, I always thought the Game Gear was more like a handheld versus Master System. I mean, I felt like it kind of. Uh, and just so you know, um, the Master System was the um, Sega's answer to Nintendo, the NES. Mm-hmm. And I think when Sonic came out, they made 8-bit versions of Sonic the Hedgehog, which I, like, like I don't, I don't know. What did you think of the um, the uh, Master System slash Game Gear titles? Uh, Lindy C and I were actually playing some of them for uh, Revo Retro, and um, I hated them. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, oh, man, shit. that was... <laughs> It's not like it's not like it's not like me when I'm like on Dark Souls or something. <laughs> oh, that was that was like me. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask, um, uh, what do you think is the um, the uh, worst game from the from the Sonic Game Gear titles? Oh God. Oh, that was a good question. Oh <laughs> God. Labyrinth. <laughs> no. I haven't played Labyrinth, but I heard Labyrinth is the worst. So. Oh. Jamie, I, I haven't played be Labyrinth. and say Labyrinth, but man, it's hard to pick one worse. It's hard to pick one that's worse. <laughs> it really is. They, they, re- most of them really are that terrible. I mean, you should have seen the the, the struggle me and Ladisi were having with some of the other uh, levels. Yeah, the struggle like, is real. I mean, like, because I played, I played Sonic One from Game Gear, and like, I managed to get, get through it. By cheating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, you do what you gotta. I, I mean, and I was, then there's. Yeah, go ahead. I was constantly saving, uh, doing a save state because I was just not getting through it. I was just like constant load state, load state, load state, load state, yeah, load I state. Remember those screams? Load, 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 <laughs> load, mm-hmm. load. <laughs> wow. And then, I mean, because by the time she was doing uh, uh, Sonic 2 for Game Gear, um, she couldn't get all the Chaos Emerald, and so I had to do it on my own free time. And I managed to get all, all of them and to unlock the, the final stage, the final zone. Yeah. In which I haven't played it yet, the final zone. I didn't really notice until I saw, like, a video that, um, one of the levels from Sonic 2 8-Bit was, believe it or not, um, what became, um, You Can Do Anything or 2 Sonic Warrior from Sonic CD. Oh, yeah. Like, like, even listen to the Emerald Hills music from Sonic 2 8-Bit, you can hear, uh, 2 2 Sonic Warrior. Like, you can hear the, like, yeah, like, you can hear that song. Oh gosh, uh, let the time get away from us. Uh-huh. <laughs> that we did. Oh, guys, this has been so fun. I can't wait to do this again next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna be back next Friday because I I was originally going to do it on Thursday, but I'm gonna be in Jacksonville next Thursday. So uh, I'm gonna be doing my manga passport trip. So woohoo! Mm-hmm. So, okay, so we'll see you guys next Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, We love you guys. Have a great night, and um, we will see you next week. All righty. Stay awesome. Stay safe, everybody.